beautiful day, though. You know what I'm saying, bro? Beautiful day, man. You get up and do the work, man. Get your phone. <clears throat> still alive. Shit. Read it again, bro. <laughs> Romans 15 and 4. For what things are written, were written aforetime, were written for our learning through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, most definitely double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here for a bear. Look, we're living in a time of miracles, man. When you read the scriptures, they're written for our learning. The scriptures were written, see, coming back into this knowledge, we have been coming, we have came back into this knowledge to stir up our pure minds. When you hear the word, on the internet or whether you hear the word by men on the highways and byways teaching is to stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance man we're living in the time of miracles you know get um read that one more time matter of fact hold that right there bro get um Sirach 2 and 10 you know everything was written for our learning look at the um, generations of old which that's the scripture we getting ready to get right quick our forefathers Abraham Isaac Jacob Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego, Daniel in the lion's den, King David, all the men of the Lord, Jeremiah, all the Ezekiel, um, Elijah, you know, um, the Apostle Paul, you know, all of them, man, Timothy, look, look at all the men of the Lord. They was all faced with um, hardship. It was all faced with um, dark, dark hours, pretty much, you know? Grave sentences. And all of them, oh yeah, the... Um, <coughs> Mac and B brothers and their moms. So we're living in we're living in reality, you know. We're not we're not living in a fantasy world. No, it's reality. You get shot, your ass bleed. You know what I'm saying, bro? You in a castle, you dead. That's reality. You see, the majority of our people they're living in a fantasy world. So we're living in the time of miracles. We're living in the time of reality. <laughs> Going right back to the scripture. You want to chime in, bro? You already know what it is. I know you think that song. Yeah, we go are ahead. living in a fantasy world. So right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, that, that's the majority of our people. Mm -hmm. They're living in a fantasy world <laughs> when reality, you know what I'm saying, is smacking them right there in the face. Get that right quick, bro. And then we'll go right back to Romans, the 15th chapter. Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Right. Did ever any trust in the Lord? And see, they just like your bro, the yep. generations of old. We go back and see the search of our forefathers. The scriptures tell us to go and search for our forefathers. How did they act? You know what I'm saying? What was their conduct? Mm -hmm. Look, who do they believe in? Who do they worship? Who do they pray to? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Were they praying to man or were they praying to an entity that's bigger than man? See, see that's what we're going to. We're praying to an entity that's bigger than man. Our people still trusting in man. Mm -hmm. When the scriptures tell you, it's um, 118, and in one of them verses, um, trust in the Lord and put not confidence in man. See, the majority of our people, they, they, they're um, expecting a miracle to come from a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, we're, we're expecting miracles to come by way of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, through men, mm -hmm. of course. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord, you know what I'm saying, led us through the, um, through the sea. You know what I'm saying? By way of Moses. Right. But that happened by Moses <clears throat> having faith in Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. See, Moses believed in a miracle. Right. You see what I'm saying? When all seemed hopeless, right, bro? Right. Pharaoh right behind him, hauling ass, right, bro? Dust coming from the chariots, bro. You can see it. Thousands <laughs> upon thousands of chariots coming, you know what I'm saying, yeah, right. to do away with the children of Israel. Just trying to make it to safety. See, we're living in a time where we're trying to make it to safety. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the scriptures tell us what? Um, Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong mm -hmm. tower. You know what I'm saying? The righteous run into it and it's safe. What, what, look, what, what's our protection? Mm -hmm. what, who do we run to, you know what I'm saying, in the times of need, in the times of and look, and period, no matter what time it is, when things are going good, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh When things are going bad, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh We don't wait till all things, all hell to break loose, man. They're calling mm -hmm. our power. But, but let's get that again, bro. Yeah, this is uh, Rock chapter 2, verse 10. Right. <clears throat> look at the generations of old and see. And we got many different examples, man. 
pick up the Bible and read it, man. We have many different examples of our forefathers catching hell from these different nations, man. You know, the Babylonian captivity, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shit, the Egyptian captivity. Mm -hmm. When we was in the captivity up under Darius, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The Persian and the mm -hmm. Medes. You name it. You want to say something, bro? I got to keep the count. Yeah, go ahead. Back in all our forefathers, uh, not, uh, you know, trusting the Lord. This is um, the bell and the dragon, the apocrypha. Right. Uh, <clears throat> verse 37, it says, And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which thou, which Yahweh have sent thee. Right. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. You got it. And, and that's what part of your counsel we're supposed to be remembering. When you read this story, Daniel was thrown into the lion's den for what? Mm -hmm. For coming up against uh, uh, the, the, the idol worshiping right. that was going on in the captivity of his time. Yeah, Daniel had faith in the Lord. Mm -hmm. When it was a decree passed, <clears throat> there was a decree made, mm -hmm. an unrighteous decree, a law passed by these heathens. You're going to worship us and only us. That's what's going on right about now. Yep. Sleazy, he's like, yo, you're going to worship me. I'm the only God of the, of the earth right about now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, Sleazy is pretty much saying, because remember it says he's sitting in the temple as the yep. most high, deeming himself that he is the most high. So this yep. devil like, yo, if it is a God, it's me. Y'all gonna worship me. Y'all gonna, gonna comply to everything I say. Or, or, or guess what? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get thrown into a concentration camp. Well, the same thing happened in Daniel's time. That's right. You can finish making your point, bro. Oh, no, no, you, you, you went perfectly. You know what I'm saying? So so, so Daniel trusted in Yahweh by Shemit. Trust, man. Yep. That's one of the main factors, man. That's one of the main ingredients. Trust goes back to faith, man. A full assurance, the belief. And, so, and then Daniel trusting in something he hadn't seen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? All our forefathers, Abraham trusting in something that he hadn't seen. Right, bro? That's right. Isaac, Jacob, all the men of the Lord, all Noah. Mm -hmm. All of them trusting in something they hadn't even never seen, man. Because mm -hmm. the Lord had given them the gift of faith. Look, guess what? We got the gift of faith, man. Yeah. You I got, got something in the Oxford Dictionary Trust. It says um, uh, confidence. Right, you see, the, the Lord has gave us confidence. That's why we come in so boldly in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Mm -hmm. See, the, the average Israelite doesn't have confidence in a power that they haven't seen before. You know what I'm saying? Or a power that they can't put their hands on. See, yeah. our people are very tangible. They're very carnal. So if they don't see it, they don't believe it. Yeah. Well, we don't see it and believe it. That's why the scriptures say, um, blessed are those that, who haven't seen yet believe, man. Yeah, Downton Thomas. Right. It says, um, you know, if I may say, yeah, our people, like, like you was going into, they, they, they're off the, um, they, they believe in the five senses. Right. I can't see it. I can't touch it. I can't smell it. I can't smell it. I can't right. taste it. Right. I forgot the other one. Believe Hear it. it. Hear it. Exactly. Right. But all those things, spiritually, you, <laughs> you right, can. Right, right. This is the food. Matter of fact, let me get, <laughs> I'm going to get a precept for you since you said that right there, man. And we're just flowing in the spirit. God, that's right. You know, this is this is spiritual food. Man should not live off bread alone. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And, and you can touch the Lord, you right. know. You can hug a brother. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah, the Lord says that, um, when did you clothe me? Kind. When did you visit me in prison? When did you give me some water? When did you, you know what I'm saying, comfort me? When you did it to the least of the flock, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got that precept. Kind, yep. This is um, St. Matthew 13 and 16, but bless your eyes. Yeah, look, favor in the eyes of the Lord are you. Right. The ones that has this, this truth. Right. As we're giving the eyesight to see past the, uh, the the wickedness and the darkness right. that we're living in. Just like Elisha, you know what I'm saying? Remember Elisha, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to his understudy. Mm -hmm. Elisha had already had the eyes to see. You know what I'm saying the ears to hear. That's why he prayed to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, open the eyes of this young lad. You know what I'm saying? So he can see what I see, so he can get his faith built. Because um, Elisha, you know what I'm saying? His faith, you know what I'm saying, was on swole. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He already seen, you know what I'm saying, his, um, his teacher, Elijah, being beaten up in a chariot, you know what I'm saying? He already seen miracles of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. His understudy didn't have the faith, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, had, he had that doubting spirit, you know? Yeah. But then his eyes got open, and he was truly blessed, right? Mm -hmm. So once again, you could. St. Matthew chapter 13, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Right. Well, your ears, for they hear. Hear what? The spiritual calling, right? Salvation, right? All right, and, and and that's something that our people can't see because this thing is spiritual. 
Only thing we hear is Jahawa busting out shots saying, follow me, mm -hmm. follow me, follow me. And what is two thirds hearing? Mm -hmm. They hearing Sleazy E, you know what I'm saying? And his million saying, no, follow me, yep. follow me, follow me. Then you heard Yahweh by Shemel Shai like, yo, no, you know not to worship that. You know not to do this. You know not to eat this. Right. You know? You know who to pray to. You know who, who's been delivering you. You know who gave you life. Right. So, man, this devil didn't give us life, man. Yahweh by Shemel Shai then the Lord, you know what I'm saying, gonna make a speedy riddance of this place soon come. Right. So everybody that is joined hand in hand with this devil, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna be through soon come, you know? That's the times that we living in. You yeah, got him, bro. He had made a statement about the understudy. Right. And um, to, for, uh, for his uh, faith to be increased. Right. Because that's 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 really a commandment. Right. This is Luke 22 and 32. It says, But I have prayed for thee that thou that thy faith fail not. Mm. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and that's exactly what uh, uh, Elijah did to Elisha. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's what, you know, this, you know, big bro did to me when I came into the truth. It's all through the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then um, Elijah, um, Alicia, you know what I'm saying, turned right around, you know what I'm saying, did it to the understudy. Each one teach one, man. That's the mm -hmm. legacy of our forefathers, man. Comfort one another, man. Our job is to comfort one another every time, man. Every time. Um, just like, um, what is it? Is that in Romans? Romans 38, uh, Romans 8 and 38. Let me just get that quick right here. Uh, speak and, right here. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and, and that, you know, this is what we're supposed to be doing, but, you know, you got other guys. Other camps, you know, they're, they're building a congregation up to have faith in science, to have faith in what man has to offer. And the scriptures tell us what? Cursed be the man that trusts up in man, make a flesh his arms. See, we got a protection. We have a power. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the God of the Bible. Hey, bro, where's that scripture that says um, that y'all show the same diligence? Is that six? That's Hebrews six? Yeah, that's yeah. six. I got it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And that's, that's beautiful that you're bringing that out because you're starting to see in these last days who's being diligent for your house watching your outside and who's being diligent for their father the devil. Mm -hmm. This is on Romans chapter 8. It's like in Romans chapter 6 verse 10. For the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. And a lot of guys have, 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 have not understood what this part of the verse is talking about. Right. They think the most high has forsaken them. When the scriptures say you have not forsaken me. All right, you forsaking yourselves, but especially when you stop doing this work. Right. When you stop teaching them the truth. It says, um, which you have showed towards his name. That's why the name is very important. All right. That's why when Daniel was in the lion's den, he wasn't forsook. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because he was already doing the work of Yahweh by Shemel Shasi. Now, we hit the highways and byways, mm -hmm. but it's also the works of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Um, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability. That's part of the work too. So right. for him, practicing rehearsing the righteous acts of the law to the best of his, his ability, he wasn't forsaken. The Most High was looking at everything that Daniel was doing, and he was looking at everything that the other Israelites were doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's right. He's seeing that Daniel, you know what I'm saying, was a faithful servant. You know what I'm saying? When all eyes were stacked against, him, when everybody was running back, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, telling that nonsense on him, mm -hmm. which is the same thing they doing. Yeah, yeah. These are Hebrews, man. Mm -hmm. These are Hebrews. He'll get us in trouble. You know what I'm yep. saying? Punish him. Punish him. I see what they're doing. Yep. I see what they're doing. I was looking through his window yesterday. I seen him out there in the streets <laughs> teaching. You know what I'm saying? I seen him. Name. Right. <laughs> So it's like Daniel was like, yo, man, I, I see what they're doing. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I see them peeping through the window. I'm going to worship my power. They're going to go back and say that nonsense. And they're saying, no, you already know the power that be going to try to come. They, they didn't went to the gates of the nobles already. You know what I mean? Just like they did um, in Daniel's times. Uh -huh. We're living in the same times. And the Most High said he's not unrighteous. Don't forget our work and labor of love. Yeah. The Lord ain't going to forget them sit downs, man. Hitting the highways and byways, showing charity, showing brotherly love. The Lord ain't forgetting none of that, bro. We must continue it, all right? That's right. He says, um, in that ye have ministered to the saints, and do minister. Mm -hmm. And the saints are the Israelites. Right. Psalms 148, 14. And the word minister means to serve. Yep. So you can't just do this, you can't just serve, you know what I'm saying, for a season. You gotta continue to do it. You gotta endure until the end, Lord willing, right? That's right. And it says, um, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Yeah, full assurance of hope until the end, because the scriptures say he yeah, endure to the end, the saints shall be saved. Right. See, these guys want to want to be saved now. Right. We got a lot of guys selling out, and it's being made known. That's why they waters. They want to be saved now. They really don't have the faith and the hope. They're not prisoners of the hope. Right. Anytime you know what I'm saying you promote, you know what I'm saying Maxine Waters, you know what I'm saying them uppercuts, them knockout blows. Right. You ain't got no faith in the Lord, man. You see? Because look, faith without works is dead, right? Yeah. You say you got faith in the Lord, then where your works at, man? Mm -hmm. You know. 
supposed to be according to the scriptures, man. Right. Not according to what man is saying, man. All right? Because they speak not according to this word, then there's no light in them, right? It says, uh, and look, it says hey, we desire. Mm -hmm. Our desire, you know what I'm saying, is that you follow the same path right. of the men written up in the scriptures, our forefathers, man. Right. We read Romans, the 15th chapter. The things that are written the first time were written for our learning, then we know how our forefathers conducted themselves, man. We know how they carried themselves. Well, well, why ain't men on the earth carrying themselves in like manner, bro? Right. Because those are, those are the sellouts, man. That's right. It tell you that in Malachi, you know what I'm saying, the third chapter, uh, verse 16 on down, the Lord has given us a spirit. You can get it right quick. The Lord has given us a spirit of discernment to be able to see who's following him and who's not, man. That's right. That's why I says, blessed are your eyes, right? That's right. In your ears, man. Every, every Israelite is truly not blessed right about now, man. All right? No matter if they got the fancy garments, no matter if they got the, you know, big houses, cars, so forth and so on. What did that mean? You blessed? Right. Nah, man, who, who, who'd you get the blessings from, though? Exactly. You see? But the Lord said, I have chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, right. heirs of the kingdom. It's going to take faith to make it through this whole ordeal, man. It's going to have to take faith, bro, to make it through this whole ordeal, man. That's right. Go ahead. It's like, how, how does it go again? Um, I forgot what I said. You said Malachi. Oh, yeah, get on um, Malachi 3 and 16. You can start at 16. <clears throat> the point is in 18. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You this start at 16, is, though. This is Malachi 3 and 16. And then when you finish that, I'm going to come right back to this for you. Turn, yep. It says, then they that feared the Lord. Now look, look, what, what? Then they that feared the Ooh, Lord. Oh, what? Because, you know, fear <laughs> is the beginning of wisdom, yo. See, <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's what it's all about. The Lord wants us to fear, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about Shai wants us to fear, bro? This is the beginning of knowledge, but fools um, despise oh, wisdom and, and instruction, bro. So, we, so starting off with the head apostles, elder bishops, you know what I'm saying, a great millstone and the men on down, look, we fear the Lord, man. It, it says, and then, and then bro, hold, hold on deck, um, wisdom of Solomon. Okay. Hold it on deck too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because look, miracles are not going to happen, you know what I'm saying, if you don't fear the Lord. Right. You, you're expecting a miracle. You're expecting Yahweh by Shemel Yeah, that's who we believe in. For all the listeners out there, that's who we believe in. Right. You're expecting your Howard Bashim Abishai to perform a miracle in you or through you, but you ain't got faith and you don't fear. Right. Fear first and foremost. That ain't happening, Captain. You know what I'm saying? That, that ain't happening, Captain. Right. You got it, bro. This is Malachi 3 and 16. Then right. they that fear the Lord. See, and then they that fear the Lord. Every Israelite don't fear the God of the Bible. The Lord is showing you who's fearing them, bro. That's right. No matter what Sleazy E is saying, look, the men and the Lord are fearing the Lord. That's right. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding, man. This is a beautiful day to do a lesson too, man. Look, that look, too. the Lord wants us to comfort our people. Look, 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 we have been comforted, yep. you know what I'm saying, by the words of Yahweh, by Shemel Shah. So look, it's our duty to comfort our people with these words. All hell, look, look, we're not going to sugarcoat nothing, man. All hell is getting ready to break loose, all right? They're going to throw some of us into concentration camps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to starve us out. They're going to look. They're going to take our homes away. They're going to take our jobs away. Damn it. We gotta, we're going to give it to you raw. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ain't no lying in therapy, right? Ain't no lying in therapy. You know what I'm saying? Look, man. This is the truth according to the Bible. All hell breaking loose, man. And there's only one way out of this thing. And that's trusting in the Lord. Having faith in your how about Shimei I was shot. Right. You, you want to chime in, bro? Get it in. <clears throat> Malachi 3 and 16, then right. they that feared the Lord. Look, look, we feeling very, I'm, I'm excited as I don't right. know what, right? I'm hype. Right. I gotta control my spirit right about now because I'm hype as I don't know what, man. You see? You see? This is, this is the, look, look, just like Daniel. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just like Moses. It's like all the men of the Lord. They put their trust in the Lord. We don't put in our, our, our trust in our puny weapons. We ain't got no weapons, man. Our only weapon is this right here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The sharpening any two edged sword. That's right. Read on, bro. Yep, this is Malachi 3 and 6. Then they that feared the Lord right. spake often one to another. And then when we see the men that fear you have by Shemel Shai spake often one to another. Look, we're speaking to the, you know what I'm saying, to the hopeful elect right now. That's right. We're speaking one to another, bro, every time That's we right. call each other, man. That's right. You see? And look, the, the first scripture the Lord had us bring out was that Romans 15 and 4. We're in fire learning. Look, the men of the Lord spoke one to another, man. That's right. Those that fear you have by Shemel Shai spoke often, bro. It wasn't right. like the men of the Lord spoke once a year to each other. No, right. often, man. Right. Often, man. That's right. Because we need to hear these words of confidence, these words of comfort, man. We need to hear them often, man. Look, starting off with the head of apostles, that's why, um, like, Apostle Gabbard, you no know, saying his page is 
daily edification, yep. daily exhortation. You got to do this thing daily, man. You see? Plus, if I may say, yeah, the, bro. Minute, the minute of the Lord, you know, you know, we know the scriptures. Right. The scriptures say, you know, in these times, you have desire to hear, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing a brother's voice. Right. You know, so, man, you better get it in while you can. Get it in now, man. Because you may not be with a brother now, hell break loose. Put, put somebody's down and out right about now. That's the you know main what I'm saying? thing. Somebody's uh, Israel, Israelites, yeah. not these heathens. You got an Israelite down and out right about now, don't know which way to turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody, look, if the church pastor been lying to him, yep. you know what I'm saying? The people at his job don't know a damn thing. Yep. Everybody conform to the ways of this world already. So so who's going to minister to the saints? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, minister to the saints. If you minister to the saints and you continue to do it, I'm not going, I'm not a power that's unrighteous. So it's right. your work. The work that we did in, um, I know the elder Rapa, when he came down, he made a statement, he said, you're only good as, as your next video, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Forget what you did yesterday. Yeah. Forget what you did an hour ago. What, what are you doing now? Get it in for the Lord now, man. Yeah. It's a saying, you're only funky as your last cut. Right. You know? You're only yeah. funky as your last cut, man. That's right. It's like, it's like, you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Get it in. Get it out, man. That's right. The Lord said, um... Those that um go back to nah, not even that one. Those that are pretty much trusting the Lord shall not keep silence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Day nor night. That's um, Isaiah, Isaiah 62. Right, you know what I'm saying? Ye, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. We got a whole lot of priests up. Yeah, See, that's the Lord feeding us though. <laughs> that, look, look, that's why the Lord said, they that believe on me, as the scriptures have said, out of their belly, meaning their mind shall flow yeah. rivers of living water. That's why we got so many priests right. bro. That's right. That's why we got so many priests up. We even forgot about some of the priests yeah, that we, we need to go back yeah. to. <laughs> I know. That's the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. And Shalom to all the apostles, elder bishops, elders, the Quanium, you know what I'm saying? Aquathium, you know what I'm saying? Just tuning in, man, and getting fed, man. Our job, Jeremiah 3 and 15, bro. Feed them right. with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, because we ain't got long. This is it. That's right. This is it, man. This, now is the time to feed the people. They're hungry, man. They're starving for knowledge. That's right. Because Israel um, have not. Um, Found that what you're seeking for. That yeah, seeking yeah, that's for. it. Huh? That's it. But the election, election have obtained it, and the rest was blinded, yeah. man. Right. So these lessons are only for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Yeah. You got it, bro. Yep. This is Isaiah 62 and 6. Right. I have set watch me upon thy walls, you o, got it. o Jerusalem. All right. Jerusalem represents you Israelites. Going back to, uh, what's that? First Maccabees. It talks about. Uh, the he named the, he named the, uh, the place for the people. So. Right. Not the place for the. Uh, he named the place. Because of the people, you know what I'm saying? That's right. It says, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. So what the hell is these guys doing, man? Right. Taking breaks. Four, five months, a Four, year. Four, five months, five years. yeah. You go to their page, ain't nothing up there, bro. You're supposed to be, you're a man of the Lord. You're supposed to be a man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Look, you're not supposed to hold your peace day nor night. It's supposed to be daily edification right. on your page, man. That's right. You know? And, and part of that, that uh, not hold, you know, holding their peace, is that now people know miracles are coming. Right. You, you're getting the, the flock, you're scattering the flock by having them trust in the miracles of Esau. Right. Well, who gave that man his technology? Right. His science, the most high Yahweh. Ain't he warning the people that death and destruction is coming? Right. Ain't telling our people, no saying that a miracle is, is about to happen. Right. The Lord's about to perform miracles. They ain't giving our people no hope, bro, no in hope. the Lord. Only hope in Babylon, bro, yep. the land of confusion. Now look, you giving our people hope in a land, you know what I'm saying, that was founded and set up for us not to get ahead. Mm -hmm. So what the hell you think, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to keep it PG. What the hell makes you think, you know what I'm saying, we're going to get ahead after you comply, you know what I'm saying, with sleaze and ease nonsense. You know what I'm saying, bro? We ain't getting ahead on this side, man. That's right. Okay? It won't meant for us to make it. I, the Lord had me say it in you know, a lesson I did earlier, you know what I'm saying? America is a big prison sentence for us, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's almost over. Yo, we right here in the last days of this prison sentence, man. Try, mm -hmm. Trying to get our people comfortable in prison, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, like you, you make a good point. This is a big prison sentence. And, you know, you hear stories when guys about to be, you know, their release date's coming up. Right. Somebody will mess with them, make them yeah. go, go off and yeah. get some so longer fight, time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, yeah, right? You know, add time to it. You know, and that's what, you know, these uh, 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 prophets and sheep's uh, wars and she's right are trying to do they're That's trying right. to get you get you stuck here spiritually right man, so you can be destroyed they don't want you like you, you wonderful point bro they don't want you to get released from prison man yeah.
Yeah. Look, look, the scripture say, um, they ain't gonna enter into that rest, so they damn sure don't want you to enter in. Yep. They know they did so much wickedness, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to wear that demon on them so hard, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord said you can repent from anything, except for, um, right, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't did so much wickedness, that demon was like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That demon, you know what I'm saying, got more demon, a legion of demons on this dude, you know what I'm saying? And he's telling you, you know what I'm saying, look, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to hell, you know what I'm saying, which is destruction. So you, look, I might as well get some people to join me. Because mm -hmm. misery love company, man. That's right. You got it. Yep, it says Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, who hold their peace day nor night. Right. That's why we constantly feeding the flock, man. You know, you get hungry at any time of the hour of the day. Hell yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You got brothers in London, Europe, right. Africa, South America. I mean, all over, man. Serving up nice, lovely, spiritual hot dishes for the, for saying, the flock, bro. man. Okay? Not holding peace. Because we in hell, like you said, we in, we in captivity. What the hell will we hold our peace for? Right. It says... Somebody's trying to kill us, bro. Yeah. But oh yeah, we're not supposed to say nothing, right? We're not supposed to call for help, right? You know what I'm saying, bro? Somebody's trying to trying to just straight up destroy you. But oh yeah, keep silent, right? No, man. No. The Lord said, with the bread of understanding, shall we feed them, man? Yeah. And that's in the, that's in the Apocrypha. Huh. You got it. Yep. It says, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Mm. Now, a lot of guys don't... Mm. Came into the stain, made mention of the Lord. All right, got cold, got lukewarm. All right, that's gonna be your ass, man. Right. Look, 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 look. This is ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. That's right. So that candle was a constantly burning mm -hmm. on fire, on lit from day one, man. That's right. From day one until look until and we in the kingdom. This this fire is going to always be inside of you, man. Right. It's not going to just stop once the chariots come. You know, scoop up the elect. No, this is probably going to be in, in us forever, man. Right. It says, and give him no rest. Who? Your how about she me? I was shot. Yeah, Work their nerves. The fire, if you ain't got the fire, pray for more fire. Pray right. for fire and pray for more fire, man. That's right. You, the spirit ain't on. You better pray for that spirit. This is getting ready to really go down, man. Mm -hmm. It's getting ready to go down, down, baby. Down, down, that baby. It's getting ready to go straight up down, man. You know. That's right. And look, and the thing about it, bro, can't nobody stop it. Right. The Lord said, look, my words are not going to go out void, man. You know what I'm saying? Have, have I said something and it ain't come to pass? Mm -hmm. and how does the Lord speak through his service to prophets, man? Yep. And the, shine, the sun is shining through, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's glaring through, man. Yep. A bright sunny day is coming, man. You see? And that bright sunny day is the Lord, Lord, yeah, I was shy. He coming to make a speedy riddance of all non-believers. And he's going to destroy this place soon come, man. That's right. You know? That's right. You got it. Huh. It says, verse 7, is, uh, Isaiah 62 and 7, and give him no rest till he established, and he, he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Right. And that lets you know right there, man, that the people over in the land now are the people of the Lord. Because they're not being praised in the earth. Right. People want to take these, these people out and, you know what I'm saying? and, 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 and bury them. Right. They're, 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 they're showing up the spots, 444. Huh. So, oh, like Texas. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We're praying for mercy, man. 444 just rolled past on this car, whatever. We're in a distance. This closed local. You know what I'm saying? Right. 444 just rolled past. So, man, that's mercy. That's what we pray for mercy. Yep. You're not going to receive mercy from an unmerciful person, man. Mm -hmm. All right? The scripture tell you how can you make something straight which was created to be they crooked? Cook. You expect it for the devil to change. That's right. You know what I'm saying, bro? The devil, the deceiver is not going to change. He was created that be that way, man. Right. You see? The Lord said he created um, the, um, the wicked for the day of evil, man. This dude was created, you know what I'm saying, to, to have everything turned upside down. This dude was created, you know what I'm saying, to lie, man. Yeah. And the Apocrypha scriptures say um, all the works of the Lord are exceedingly good. Right. So him creating this devil to be uh, evil was, was good. Right. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. All the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua are perfect. Yep. The Lord ain't making no mistakes with nothing mm -hmm. that he created. You yep. see? Remember that dude said the porcupine, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Lord made a mistake when he created the porcupine. No, he didn't, man. Just <laughs> no, right. shut your mouth, man. Just <laughs> shut the hell up. The majority of people just need to shut the hell up, man. Straight up, man. That's right. That was in on that. was in on that? Yeah. I want to go right back to Hebrews. Why don't you go? You told a couple, right? I'll read that bring that Malachi. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read this for you and then we're going to okay. go back. Because look, man, this is the spirit of the Lord. It's getting ready to go down, man. We're going to go home soon, come. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Home, home soon come, man. Never have to worry about nothing ever again. We got to fight for it, though, man. The scripture say through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's why we don't sugarcoat nothing. That's right. You see? We ain't sugarcoat nothing, man. We'll catch pure hell before we get into the kingdom. Lord willing, we of that number. 
playing around with our people's lives, man. Some of everything's gonna be all good, just conform to the ways of the beast. Hell no, man. Right. Nah. Romans chapter 6, not, not Romans 6, Hebrews chapter 6, Done. verse 11. I'm going to read 10 again. Yep. For the Most High, Yahweh, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Yeah, so what you're going through, right, through your daily walks, your weeks, all right? Stand firm for Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, this faith. Right. All right, the truth. The Lord's not going to forget that, man. Right. See, sleazy E will forget what you've done for yeah. him. Yeah. you work for him 30 years on a job, get ready to retire, and this man, you know, like you like to go into, yeah. you know, he'll, he'll fire you the, the, the day before so he ain't got to yep. pay your benefits. No, I'm saying, bro, leave your dead ass, man. This man going to leave our people dead. This man going to leave our people for dead. Why you can't see that, Israel? Because the Lord don't want you to see it. That's why we just got to like, I mean, you know we get hyped sometimes, yeah. but it's like, it's the Lord, you <laughs> know what I'm saying, doing everything. It's like, right. this man's going to really leave you for dead, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Look, look, who would pity a charmer that was bitten by a serpent? We're gonna that's get right. we're gonna hold it, I'm gonna hold that on deck. That's, that's right. a rock, the 12th chapter. That's the right. Lord said, Trust in me, never trust thine enemy, right? That's right. It says, Um, which ye have showed towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Mm -hmm. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence. And that's a commandment that the Lord that the Lord saying right there. That you minister, serve unto his people, right? Man. Now, how can you serve the flock, the congregation, when you're telling them to get down with the beast? Said the elders in Hebrews 11, chapter of verse 2, said the elders um, got a good report of the faith that they had. You know what I'm saying? And, and look, and um, the scriptures are pretty much saying, we desire that you do the, um, do show the same diligence, man. You see one man going hard for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? Look, every man got his measure. Every man got his portion. You know what I'm saying? Every man got his talents. But damn it, with the talents that you got, go hard with it. That's right. If you only know two scriptures, bring them out every day. The same scriptures. You look, read one scripture. It's like if you only know Hebrews 11 and 1. And then you got um, Jeremiah 14 and 2. You read Hebrews 11 and 1, one time, one time first. Then Jeremiah, come right back. Jeremiah, Hebrews, do something for the Lord. That's right. All the Lord, the Lord wants us to do is do what is given to us. Whatever measure you have been given, use it, man. Use it. Just use it. Use it or lose it, man. Yeah. Don't just say that in the world, bro. No, yeah, I'm saying yeah, use it or lose it. That's uh, prophetic, right yeah, there, man. That's a true statement. And we desire that every one of you do this, do show that. And I'm hyped right about now. Right. Do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. See, for full assurance of hope until the end, you got to be diligent, man. You know, you can't just you know half-ass this thing, man. Right. It tells you in Revelation that the Lord's gonna spew you out of His mouth. Right. Yep. For yep. being lukewarm. That's right, bro. The Lord wants you one way. Right. Either hot. Or you the cold. Right. And we know what's gonna happen to those that are cold. That's those right. that are lukewarm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna spit you out, man. Yeah. Gonna spit, gonna show them to spit you out. You know, you don't want your tea uh lukewarm hot or you want it cold. Right. I ain't never like no hot cocoa. Without, look, without marshmallows, you know what I'm saying? You know, gotta throw that out there. He, he drinks cocoa. I bet you put marshmallows in it. No, no marshmallows here, right? right? But every time I get my hot cocoa, I like it hot, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know. You know, because we out there in the wintertime, we want it hot. You know what I'm saying? You want your tea hot. You know what I'm saying? You want your cocoa hot. You know what I'm saying? You want your plate hot. I want my steak. You know what I'm saying? I want my lamb hot. You know what I'm saying? You see? And it's it. And listen to this, bro. Look, that you be not slothful. That you be not slothful, man. Lazy. Right. A slugger. Right. All right? No one likes that, man. This ain't the time to be lazy, bro. This ain't, man. It's too much going on in that spirit, man. That's why if you have that spirit on, you got to rebuke it, man. Right. In the name of your hell, Bashimi, I was shot because it's too much. There's a lot going on. That's right. Look, bro, so, so much that you can't even keep up with it. Yeah. If you if you don't have nothing to talk about right about now, where the hell have you been? Mm -hmm. Look, come from up under that rock because you must have been living up under that rock. Come from up under that rock and do something. You know what I'm saying? Because right? it's too much going on right about yeah. it. Do something. Because it's too much <laughs> going on right about now for you to not be doing anything. It's going to say prophesy, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has given us his word, has given us his spirit to go prophesy the testimony, which right. is the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Right. And what it say? That ye be not slothful, mm -hmm. but follow, look, consider the ant. That's right. No saying um Proverbs 6 and 16. Yep. Consider the ant, man. That's right. It says that ye be not slothful, but followers. Mm -hmm. I ain't so, gotta follow yeah, nobody. Just, yeah, you got it, that. bro. You got it, bro. Yeah, but and that's the problem with Jake. Jake don't want to follow nobody. Jake, right. everyone wanna be the uh too many uh uh, what's the house uh, called? Uh, um, whole lot of cheese, but not cheese, enough energy. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You know? Yeah, this brother from the tribe of Gad. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know. But that's how Jake get down. Right. 
J every, everyone wants to be the, the follower. Right. Man, the, 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 the head. The yeah. head. Yeah, the leader. But we're, look, Paul said what? Be you Paul's with me. Until they get thrown into a leader position. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Then, then, no, nah, you, you got it, brother. You got it. Nah, man. Be nope. careful what you yeah, ask for, man. That's right. You be you just, and that's what, whatever, man. When it comes to women, when it comes to money, when it comes to anything in this world, be careful what you ask for, man. You know that's what I'm true. saying? You see? Because we're all like, oh, you want it? I'm going to give it to you then. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's, why, that's why we pray, you know what I'm saying? We ask, we beg for spiritual things, more knowledge, wisdom. And brotherly love, spiritual you know what I'm saying? Man. Humbleness of spirit, to be more spiritual than um, carnal. Why the serpent harms of doves? We pray for that, man. We pray for more endurance. You know what I'm saying, bro? We pray for more fear, first and foremost. Like your how about shimmy, I was shot. That's, right. uh, that's what you're supposed to be praying for, man. That's right. Uh, uh, I want a big booty chick. You know what I'm saying? With an ass about the size of the earth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel even crazy, bro. With boobs the size of missiles. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> that's how Jake is, though, man. Instead of praying for more knowledge, you know what I'm saying, the more, more spirit of discernment. Right. You be able to see who's telling the truth and who's not. We're going to go back to that Malachi. The, if I may you say, got it. The scripture says in Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. Right. Letting you know that there, there, there's so much you can be praying about. Right. And, and praying for and, pray, and praying for. That's right. Not just things that you may need. Right. But for Akim, man. That's right. Oh, I got one quick precept, bro. Then we're going to come back to that. Got look, look. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. Yep. Let us therefore fear. That's plain. That's that, that's plain. That, that's black and white. Right. Let us therefore fear. Right. Hey, if you have a, 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 a <laughs> little bro, and the Lord left it at that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Exactly. <laughs> a healthy dose, man. Right. And the Lord is showing our people a healthy dose of fear each and every day. Right. That's uh, right. Levi getting uh, two men with those earthquakes. Right. right behind it. Uh, a hurricane. Yeah, tropical storm. Tropical yep. storm. Slack it. Yep, you good. Same thing, pretty much. And I was I was um, doing a lesson on it earlier, but I'm going to go back and do a part two. I haven't put it up yet. But, you know, Levi was holding a stick with a tarp during the tornado, Same man. Same thing, bro. Tropical storm. See? See? Because what? They didn't fear. Right. Right. So the scripture is commanding us to fear, man. Fear. Right? A Once again. Bro, a stick. You got it. Yeah. And a piece yeah. of tarp. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> That's scary, man. It's, 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 people bug the hell out, though. <laughs> but say, what do you expect, though? What do you, what do you expect? When we hear things, what do you expect from people that don't believe in a higher power? They don't believe in your how about Shimmy I was shot. And some of our people, they do believe in a higher power, but it's the wrong higher power. You see? It's going right back to our Psalms 96. It says, our power, yeah, how about Shimei Oshai, is greatly to be praised. And greatly, yeah, and greatly to be feared above all gods of the earth. Because all the gods of the nations are idols, man. Our people ain't came to that concept yet, bro. You see? Bro. You got it? Uh, no, One no, flip. I just opened the scripture. You know what I'm saying? And, right and you was it. already there. Bring it out there, brother. Bring it out! Right. It's the Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord is great. Right. And greatly to be praised. Look, look. We're, we're praising Yahweh by Shimei was shot. The hell with this devil talking about. He's going to come in like a flood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come in with wrath, knowing mm -hmm. he only got a short time to rule. But look, though, our power is to be feared. The Lord tells us in Matthew, fear not him. He can take away this body. Then you can take away the body. But then what, devil? You can't do nothing after that. That's it. You see? That's it. The Lord controls the spirit, but the Lord controls everything yeah. anyway, man. Yeah. The judgment right there. The yeah. Lord controls that judgment right yeah. there. But for, for a non believer, Yep. When I hear an ambulance, a fire truck, or whatever, a cop car, that's judgment on a non believer. Yep. Come on. I know. Come right? on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's going down, man. It's going. The, the Lord is drawing a line in the sand, man. Of who right. believes, of who and who don't believe, That's man. Right. And, and and he's making it very clear. And you ain't got all day to choose, right? Either. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna finish reading that, and then we're gonna write back come, there. Come. There's a little bit more. Yep. It says Hebrews chapter four, verse one. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left of us entering into his rest. Cause we, that's what we yeah. fight for, that rest. Because yeah. you can't rest here pursuant to Micah, what is it, 2 and 10? 2 and 10, You know what I'm saying? We rest within these comforters right here, you know what I'm saying? But actually, the rest that this is talking about is the kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you're not fearing your hour about Shemel Shai, you're not going to enter into that rest. You're not going to be saved and delivered from Sleazy E and the nuclear holocaust, man. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. that lake of fire, A.K.A. the second death, man. All right? The Lord's like, yo, fear me. 
least that promise of entering into that rest, you fall short of. Right. You know what I'm saying? The majority of our people, they're going to they fall short of that rest, bro. You know what I'm saying? The guys that fell out, you know what I'm saying? Look, I wasted the, the best years of my life, you know what I'm saying? Out there on the, on the highways and byways with y'all. Yeah. And ever since I, I, I stopped teaching the truth, I got a better job, I got a better woman, I got a better career. But do you not know, look, look, you're not going to enter into that rest? Right. You, you forgot about that. Yep. It says, should, should seem to come short of. For unto us was the gospel preached. Yep. Yeah, the gospel unto us the gospel was preached. Right. There's no excuse. The scripture tell you in Romans, um, uh, I can't, let me just get it with yeah. This this sounds going out throughout um, the whole world. Yeah. Ain't bring that one out in a minute. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, Romans. I get it for you, bro. I get it for you. I'm here. Yeah, I get it. I get it. This is Romans chapter 10. Yeah. You started 17? Yeah, what well, spirit tell you, bro? Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Huh. So faith coming from by hearing. Now, how, now you got that's why you got two ears to hear. Right. The Lord won't make sure our people listen. That's man. right. All right? If faith comes by hearing. Right. Now, that hearing is going to go into how uh, a major way our people have heard this word. Right. Just like when we heard the word, yep. that faith kicked in. That's why we automatically believed in it. Yep. Now we, we we had to listen for a little while to get our faith built up some more, and we had to do our own research to to see if what they right. were saying was true. You know what I'm saying we're not just blindly following somebody. Right. No, you no, know I'm saying do you re, do you di look? The Lord just said, um, do you um, sure diligence? Yep. You know what I'm saying be diligent in this thing. He's not unforgetful or unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. We're, we're being diligent, man. That's right. You know. You don't just follow behind somebody without knowing what the hell going on. No, you, you follow behind somebody, you're doing some research mm -hmm. first and foremost mm -hmm. of what you're following, you know what I'm saying? That's right. You know, we're not just following blind men. We're following men, you know what I'm saying, through the spirit of your high, by Shemal Shai, and the Lord put the spirit on us to do our own research, you know? That's right. So faith coming by hearing, mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of the Most High. By the word of the Most High. Right, see, these words are the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, who the word we call God is Jesus and Jesus Christ. Man. Right. That's right. It says, but I say, have they not heard? Mm -hmm. the Lord, this, 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 is, this is a, what you call it? A, um, a rhetorical question. Yeah. Have they not heard? Right. Like, we, we just read Isaiah 62, get the right. Lord no, uh, no, no, rest. no rest. Right. All right, to, you know, he established Jerusalem and make him a praise in the earth. Right. So, our people have heard. Right. They heard the men of the Lord say, you know what I'm saying, don't take Maxine water. Yeah. They, they heard Proverbs um, 3 and 5, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they heard um, Acts um, 3 and 19. They heard all that, they bro. They heard repent according right. to the Bible or you're going to perish. Look, they heard, you know what I'm saying, Psalm 96. Yep. Didn't you just read it? We were still on it. We're Get it right on. quick, bro. Psalm. They, they heard this scripture. Yeah, Psalms. Get that right Psalms quick, bro. Psalms 96 and 4. Right. For the Lord is great. Right. And greatly to be praised. Right. He is to be feared above all gods. As many times we didn't bring this scripture out starting off with the head apostles. They heard this scripture, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is, is um, greatly to be feared and greatly to be praised. Read on. Yep. Verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. And they heard this scripture, man. You know? The apostles on the highways and byways 35 years and better. They heard this scripture, bro. The elder bishops, 20-some years and better. Men like us, you know what I'm saying? Years and better. And to the newest, youngest brother, you know what I'm saying? They've been out there probably a week or two. You know what I'm saying? They done heard this message, man. Whether the brother was out there two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Or 35 years, our people done heard this word, man. That's right. By way of the internet. Go ahead. Yep. Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Right. But the Lord made the heavens. Right. And you, you think they ain't heard this scripture? You know they heard this scripture, man. Because faith coming by hearing, man. Right. And then you know you know I'm going right back to um, Hebrews, That's the right. fourth chapter. So as I finish this, so once again, Romans chapter 10, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Mm -hmm. Yes, verily. Which means truly. They have heard. Everyone has a smartphone. Right. Well, I'll let this keep going. Good. No, so I'll, I'll, I'll let this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It up. says, um, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Mm -hmm. Their sound went into all the earth. Mm -hmm. And what? how is the sound going through all the earth? Through those uh, um, satellites, satellites, man. Yeah, the unicorn. Yeah, the unicorn. You know that 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 web that's out yeah. there, man. The www. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yep. The big old www. The World Wide Web. That's right. Shit, three year olds walking around with phones, bro. You know what I'm saying? They know how, three year olds, you got six year olds know how to go into the internet, working bro. The you know what I'm saying? Working the hell out of that phone. <laughs> I mean, tell me a grown ass man, yeah. woman, don't know what time it is. They know what time it is. They truly, they know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Their sound went out into all the earth 
in their words until the end of the world. That's right, man. Well, it's done that, not jet setting. Right. All right. But through the internet, man. And everyone that has access to the internet, whether it's through the library, whether it's through these, these little phones. All right. Everyone has access, man. So there's no excuse for our people. Right. Like our people ain't never heard that scripture, um, um, put your trust and faith in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And not put confidence in a man. They heard that, but they're like, yo, no, see, our people don't believe in nothing, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They believe in the now. They don't, they don't believe that it's anything other than serving sleeves and eat. Yep. They can't see themselves not serving this devil, bro. They can't see that. They haven't had a dream about it or nothing, bro. They're, they're not kingly minded, though. You see? So going right back, Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 2, for unto us was the gospel preached, mm -hmm. as well as unto them. And look, as well as unto them, who? Two-thirds of our people? Right. Even these heathens, the, right. the word's been uh, uh, um, preached to. Right. We're, we're preaching them that their next cap, the next stop for them is captivity. Yeah. According to the Bible. That's right. He oh, yeah. Um, Jeremiah had made him a prophet to the nations. Yep. You yep. got it. Yep. Now, now, like you said, Jeremiah's made a prophet unto the nations. Right. Plural. Not just the nation of Israel. Right. And we're coming in that same spirit. That's right. Giving, sentencing everyone. Right. That's right. Yeah, giving everybody. Yeah, that's right, brother. That's right. It says, but the word preach did not profit them. Now, this word was preached, right? Throughout the four corners of the earth, but it didn't profit them. Right. So there's a certain group of people that scripture's talking about that this word will have no value to. Right, right. And when you read Zechariah 13 chapter, it's 66.6% .6 right. of our people. That's right, brother. And it's going to tell you why, though. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Yeah, not being mixed with the faith. The confidence in what these scriptures are providing us, right. man. That's Salvation. Right, brother. That's right. That's why people are running so hard. Even the baby dragonfly want to get some Right, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. <laughs> you got a dragonfly <laughs> trying to listen to the word. You got right. ants. You got spiders. You, know you got creepy, crawly things. They want to hear the word. Because right. every time we teach, don't, don't something come by. Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. always come by. But but not a so, not a ninja. A ninja ain't coming right. by. A ninja ride past, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and yell some nonsense out the window. Yeah. But th they would never stop, man. <laughs> like you said, this is not important to them. You know I'm saying this is not the most important thing on the face of the earth to them, but it is to us. The right. scriptures say this is the most precious thing. Nothing can be compared to the words of Yahweh by Shimei man. Probably nothing. Sure. That's why we believe in it. So we don't believe in nothing nobody else say, man. That's you right. see, if they're not speaking according to this word, get the hell out of our face, man. Get out of here. That's right. You see? Yeah, it's too late. The, the book, the books are open now. Right, you saw? ain't it all, bro? You should have got, you should have got every book. You should have got rid of every book, bro. And that's still what it's not the prophet. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, because these words don't go off board That's anyway, right. you know what I'm saying? But plus, bro, he wasn't going to get rid of all the books anyway because it was written in code. You know what I'm saying? You, you need the right. people that can decode this book, you know what I'm saying, to break it down the right way. So you're not going to throw away a book, you know what I'm saying, that you can't decode. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You th you throw you throw away a book, you know what I'm saying, that you understand that you don't want nobody else to understand, or you won't even throw it away, you'll hide it somewhere. Uh, yeah. But you ain't gonna hide the Bible because you can't decode it, you know what I'm saying? Now the seals are open, only the men of the Lord can decode this book. Because it's their book, man. That's right. All right, and the Lord got his spirit on them to do so. Yeah. Listen to this right here, bro. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 3. For we which have believed. For we which have believed has been we've been preordained right. to believe on this word. That's right. What did the Lord tell um was it Jeremiah? Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew and ordained thee. That's right. To what? To get this truth and right. go teach it. That's right. And believe in. And believe in. You got you got a whole lot of people out there teaching the Bible. They don't even believe. believe. You're seeing that now, man. They're being revealed. You see, they're being revealed. They, they truly don't believe. There's a whole lot of non-believers out there, yep. man. Straight up, look, just walking around with garments on, bro. With the baddest garments, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With fringes that hang down to the flow. Yep. You know what I'm saying, bro? The big giant armbands, all that, man. They looking like Conan out there, right. but they don't believe, bro. That's right. They don't believe. You see? It says, for we which have believed do enter into rest. Yeah, because we... we, we as did. he said. Yeah. And look, as it's, as it's written. Right. But with the faith, we're going to enter into the rest, man. And faith is, is, is something that a lot of our people, they just, they just wasn't given the spirit to believe in. Right. But if the Lord put the spirit in you to believe this like he was going into. Right. Pray that your faith increases. That's because right. In these last days, these last minutes of this man's rulership, we're going to need all the faith that we can get. Mm -hmm. Expect a miracle, man. Yep. Expect yep. miracles, man. That's yep. a that's a faith for you for real, for real, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? 
That's faith for real, for real for you, man. That's right. That miracles can happen, bro. Look, we behind enemy lines, POWs, ain't got a pot to piss in. Damn sure ain't got a winner to throw it out of. That's right. Look, look, but we have been given the gift of faith, bro. That's you know what I'm right. saying? That's the best thing going on the face of the earth is faith anyway. You see? Because look, cause, cause look, bro, we about to lose everything. That's you know what I'm right. saying? So, so what's more precious than faith right about now? Nothing, man. Because you're going to lose everything, man. You shit. You're going to lose your job, your yep. home, your house, yep. your woman, your family, maybe. You know what I'm yep. saying? I mean, the Lord going to preserve some families. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Together. Look, yep. look, look. More judgment. More judgment. That's all. That's all. Judgment going forth, man. Yep. Every day, do the Lord bring forth His judgment. Right. They don't fail. That's man. right. Yeah, I appreciate you. You got it. This is uh. Luke, this man is about faith. Yeah. This is Luke eighteen and eight. Right. I tell you that He will avenge them speedily. Right. Nevertheless. Matter of fact, go up one, bro. Come. Yep. You're going on up one. Get, get, get all the meat off that bone. Come. You know what I'm saying? That's a heavy hitter right there. This is uh, Luke eighteen and seven. Right. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect? That's what it's all about. You read Matthew, the 24th chapter, 21 and 22. It tells you, for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. And wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, he have care for his elect. Yep. Shall not Yahweh Bashim Yahshai avenge his elect, man? That's right. Then wh wh why is he going to avenge him, bro? Yeah, it reads on. Going back to Isaiah 62. Yep. Which cry day and night unto him. Right. The men of the Lord are sighing and crying. The whole flag is sighing and crying for all the abominations, man. We know we're being done wrong, man. Who, who else can we complain to? Who else can we cry to besides our power? Yahweh by Shimei our Shai. So the Lord said he's going to avenge his own elect. Do you not know how the Lord is coming? The Lord told you how he's coming, man. Yep. And, and words can't even really um, fathom how he's really coming, man. Then, look, the scriptures tell you that he far exceeds these words, man. Yeah, how about Shimei Arusha far exceeds these words, man. The miracles that he's going to perform, the way he's coming, it's yep. going to blow our mind, man. If we're right. alive in that day, man, it's going to blow everybody's mind, man. That's right. You see? But look, though, one thing about it, we're expecting this, though, right? Exactly. The average person on the face of the earth, they ain't expecting nothing. They expect the slaves to eat to come with his concentration camp, mm -hmm. to come with Maxine Waters, to come with um, Vanessa mm -hmm. Williams, to come with the Biz Marquee, mm -hmm. and everything else. Look, just shut your mouth. That's right. Just, just shut it up. Comply. No, mm -hmm. look, look, we're expecting miracles, man. That's right. Right? This is um, Luke 18 and 7. Right. It says, and shut not... God avenge his own elect. Right. The most high is gonna avenge his own elect, man. That's right. The ones that he he, he chose from before the earth was even created, man, and gave to his son. Remember, um Lord Yahweh said, um, I have the men that you gave me, I have given them your name. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The heavenly father gave, you know what I'm saying? Lord Yahweh Yahweh chosen choice men. Yeah. They weren't gonna never bow their knee yeah. to bow ow, man. Those men are on the earth right about now, That's man. Right. You see? And that's beautiful you said it, because it reminds me of Matthew, the 16th chapter, where the Lord talks about he that lose, that say, try to save his life right. shall lose it. That's right, he brother. That, uh, lose his life for my sake. That's right, brother. That's right. Okay. The Lord's going Lord, to come fight for us, man. Right. Oh, yeah. Before you read that, bro, let me just read this right quick. Huh. Hebrews chapter 4, I'm going to jump down to verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Yeah, man, because this is not our rest. Like we was quoting in uh, Mike in the second chapter. The Lord wants us working right now. He wants us working, man. You want to enter into that rest? You want to be delivered into the chariot, what they even call UFOs? Which we know are they IFOs. They're identifiable flying objects yep. to us, man. They're, they're the vehicles of salvation. Right. And, and it's a curse. They go throughout the four corners of the earth. Though. When those chariots pop up, it's a curse to the earth, man. You know That's what I'm right. saying? It, look, look. It, it's a deliverance and salvation to the elect, though. That's right. You got it. And he made a, a, a good point. We're supposed to be working. Right. Now, we're not going to always be working for this devil. We're going to always be working, period. Right. Whether it's for this devil. Well, not for the devil anymore, but for Yahweh Shai. Right. Yahweh Bash Yahweh Shai. Right. It's a lot of judgment going for family, bro. Yeah, man. There's judgment there, man. Yeah. That's more judgment there, man. The Lord ain't playing, man. The Lord, look, look. All, all you viewers out there, fear the Lord, man. Yeah, man. Fear the Lord, man. Fear your how about Shimei Arshad. Judgment going for, man. Judgment yeah. ain't stopping, is it, bro? Yeah. It's coming through, man. And you go for this man. Which going one? this way, going that way, yeah. going that way. Judgment going forth, man. As lightning, man. That's right, Say so judgment shall rain as lightning, bro. That's right. Fast, man. That's right. I get that for you again, though. Huh. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into the rest. Into the rest, man. The rest is the kingdom. Right. All right? The saints shall sing joyful and loud upon their beds, right. man. Why? Because we're going to be in our rest, man. Right. 
Okay, that's what we're supposed to be. Then you know you can't get comfortable here. Yeah, you can't get comfortable here, man. Just do the Lord's work, you know what I'm saying? Push these videos <laughs> at a high frequency to the best of your ability. Brother shouldn't be going weeks without doing videos. That, that should be a thing of the past, man. If yeah. you was doing that, that should be a thing of the past. Brother should be at um um pretty much on high alert right about now. So much to report. You look, give the Lord no rest till you make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. That's now right. of course every second of the day you're not gonna be on fire. Yeah. But look, but when the um, iron is hot, hot strike. strike. You know what I'm saying, bro? Strike. When the iron is hot, strike, man. Yeah. Don't wait, don't say, oh, I do it. No, when the iron is hot, strike, man. If you yeah. got enough time, you got five, ten minutes, yep. strike, man. Yeah, man. Cause every little bit counts. Right. It may be all. Oh, it's just a three minute video, bro. Hey, hit it. Hit it. You know. Hit it. If you may do two lessons back to back. Right. Hit them. That's right, bro. Them quick hits, man. It says, least any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Look, if not, you are gonna fall and be an example to these unbelievers, yeah. man. You know, they got lukewarm. That's right. All right, they thinking, oh, wow. Well, the I, next day, the next yeah, day, yeah, the yeah, next I day, the next push day. It on, yeah. You know, I, you know, I do. I did have a long day at work. Right, I know, right, bro. And that may be true. Right. But you know, if the Lord wake your ass up that next day, you you better do something. That's right. You do it. You better do it. Do it. <laughs> Plus, hey, we we all have a long day at work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell, the, the scriptures tell you they should wear out the saints. But what do we do? You know what I'm saying? Look, pray, man, pray. That's right. You gotta pray to what you see how I'm saying? You gotta yeah, pray yeah. just to make it to the You gotta pray, man. Right. Pray for the strength to do a lesson, man. Right. This is it's that easy. This is a power enough that would not hold back his gifts from you, man. That's right. James said that, man. James 1 and 5. Huh. If you lack in anything, just pray for it. That's right. Look, Lord, I'm tired. I don't know what. This devil kicked my you know what. That's you know what I'm right. saying? At work. Look, Lord, if it's your will, put your spirit on me. Give me the strength to do a lesson. Here you go. Yep. That's saying you know you you start off the lesson tired or whatever. That's saying you know you pumped up in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You like. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yep. What you got, bro? Luke 18 and 7. Yep. And shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Right. The Lord said he's going to avenge his own elect. We cry day and night to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh. The Lord hears our prayers. Remember, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. That's, That's right. um. The song, man. Yeah, 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 that's Psalms 34. Psalms 34 yeah, and 6. six. Just to bring it out right quick. Yep. I know yep. we didn't pass by a whole lot of precepts. We ain't probably gonna never go back yeah, to, yeah, but it's, it's all the spirit, man. We don't this run is a Lord show. We don't run nothing anyway, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We turn on the camera knowing that we don't run nothing. Whatever the Lord wants to come up. Well, you right. brother should have brought out this. I would have brought out this. You should have brought out that. We yeah. bring out what the Lord wants us to bring out. That's what guys are not getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever the Lord, this is a Lord show, man. Yeah. You got it, brother. Yeah. I'm just to say real quick, real fast. Matter of fact, you can break down that too. Kind. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times I'll turn, I have a scripture in mind and I'll, I'll turn on to do a lesson. Right. Because the Lord's going to guide it. He's going to guide it. Yep. You know, it happens like that a lot of times. Yeah. This is um, Psalms 34 and Pretty 6. Pretty much all the time, bro. Because yeah. when we um, hit the highway, them byways, we don't talk about, we don't play what we're going to talk about. Brother might say something in the car yeah. before we get there, whatever. But that changes up, so you know what I'm saying? Cause the spirit is like the wind, man. Yep. It changes up, man. Yep. You got it. Yep. This is Psalms 34 and six. This is this poor man crying. Now you gotta think about this and, and, and do the filtering. Who's the Who's the poor man? It's talking about the people. Right. All right. A nation of people that's that's, that's poor. Right. Who's on the bottom of the barrel? It's us. Right. The so-called uh, uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Right. Since this poor in the, in the elect out of that. That's right. Tells you in Ezekiel the ninth chapter, said a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign and cry. Mm -hmm. For all the abominations. It says, this poor man cried and heard him. Right. So I, look, when we're crying, it's being heard. That's right. Through these lessons, through these epistles. When we're on our beds at night, our, mm -hmm. our bodies are crying to the Lord. Man, right. Our spirit is crying to the Lord. It says, and the Lord heard him. That's right. And saved him out of all his troubles. Which letting you know what? We need the Lord, That's man. That's right. We in, the, we in the midst of trouble each and every day. Right. We crack our eyes open, man. That's right. We can crack our eyes open one day and it be the gurgle truth with a gun right in front Hell of your face, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You can wake up. And, 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 wake yeah. up in a damn concentration camp. Yeah. But then it spray some up under your door, you know what I'm saying? To make it so you don't wake up and shit. Yep. It's the devil now. You know I'm saying, come to your window, 
spray something up under your window, you know what I'm saying? To where it just seep through and shit like yep. air and shit. Yep. Coming in, you know what I'm saying? They just walk on up in the crib with the damn key. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They got them um, them robot dogs that go unlock your door now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Unlock your screen door. Look, man, we need the Lord, man. This dude got all kind of technology, all yep. kind of weapons. You, you can't, you got to go through this thing spiritually. You can't come carnally. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Against this devil. Man, you know what I'm saying? His blessing was carnality, you know what I'm saying? His blessing was weapons. We're spiritual men, so we got to think spiritually, not carnally, right? Yeah. You got it, and that, the phone chime in. I know, right? And the phone chime in, you got it. That's right, that's why a lot of jakes are going to go out like Tony Montana. Hell yeah. You know? You on a plane? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> hey, you saw what's coming, just right. blast You know what I'm saying, bro? It reads on Psalm 34 and 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him mm -hmm. and deliver them. So think about that. This is the angel of the Lord encampment, which means going to protection. Right. Around those that are fearing. That's right. Think of that word fear again. Oh, I, I love, 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 love. Well, it didn't say love. Right. It said fear. Right. Lord, then automatically, oh, you know gonna, what I'm saying? Yeah. Automatically, you're going to love them. Yeah. We're just keeping the commandments of the Bible. And, and, and right. then the lesson that we're doing is, is plain. It's basic, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to go all deep, you right. know what I'm saying? The Lord just wanted to bring, uh, um, what do you say, um, the simplicity of Lord Yahweh Shai. The Lord just wanted to bring, our people don't know nothing, man, yeah. all right? People don't know nothing, man, so you just bring it out plain, man. Mm -hmm. That's just like a baby, you know what I'm saying? You, you feed the baby milk, you right. know what I'm saying? You don't come to a baby, you know what I'm saying, with a uh, plate full of steak and shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? Corn and yeah. all. Now you know just mushed up corn. You know what I'm right. saying? Corn on the cob. You know what I'm yeah. saying, bro? Just hand the baby a corn on yeah. the cob. He ain't got no teeth, no nothing. Our people don't know nothing, man. So keep it simple with Jake, man. Yeah. Jake's simple right about now, man. That's right. Jake don't know they um they, they right hand from their kneecap. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual. It's how you drive like that. You know you're simple. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm going to jump down one. Yeah. Verse 9. It says, Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints right for there is no want to them that to them that fear him mm -hmm. so you're not gonna have a want or care in the world right and that goes back to proverbs 3 because what the, you that fear the lord the lord's gonna uh, give you this truth he's gonna give you this wisdom mm -hmm. you're gonna be happy with what you have that's right all right you're gonna understand what you need to know for salvation and that the things that are in this world can compare to having this wisdom that's man. right so it's not gonna be a want all right I'm going to go ahead and tell Luke 8, uh, 18 and 15. I got that what you just called for. Huh. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. It says, happy is the man that, that give that findeth wisdom. That's right. Happy is the man. All right? Now, in this, in, in this uh, uh, world that we live in, our people find happiness in, in drugs and right. in alcoholics. All right? All, wickedness. Wickedness. Yeah. yeah, pretty much, yeah. All wickedness. Right. That's what they run to. But it's you know what I'm saying? I'm they, they, no, I was just gonna say they um they, they uh, take pleasure in making their people look bad. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, mm -hmm. getting over. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm the man. You oh yeah. What did that dude say? I'm allergic to broke people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, they, and they do wicked things. You know what I'm saying just to get ahead in society. They take pleasure in that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't even look in the damn mirror. You know what I'm saying no more. You done did so much wickedness. You know what I'm saying? But then you look down on a person that has faith in the Lord. What can that Bible do for me right about now? I'm, I'm trying to get out of the hood. It can do a whole lot for you, man. You see? Because the scriptures tell us, miserable are those that, that forsook that's, the that, knowledge, that's man. The I, I was thinking about You know? I had it earlier, too. Yeah, I, I, I went ahead and just dropped it. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13. Right. Happy is the man that gives wisdom. Look, happy is the man that gets the wisdom and knowledge to understand the scriptures. It starts out with fear. That's right. The Lord. So our people are supposed to be excited right about now. When you see the men on the highways and byways preaching, when you see videos like this bringing out the words of the Lord, you're supposed to be happy. But you got the majority of our people, they don't even want to hear the words of the Lord. They want to hear the words of man. Yeah. They want to hear the words of man. They get happy when man come on TV. Mm -hmm. So we got a new one now. You yep. know what I'm saying? Look, look, we just created a new one now. You right. know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Really? Because I'm scared. I'm scared. Please help me. Please help me. Look, this is the helper right here. That's right. This is the comforter right here. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is our helper, man. Mm -hmm. Not man. You know? Then they asked for it, though. They said, prophesy not unto me right things. Right. Smooth things. Yeah. Prophesy the deceit. Peace. Yeah, so I people want to hear lies. They want to hear a dude say, this is, um, we, you know, we got a PG or whatever, whatever. Know. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, this is good for you. Look, this ain't good no more. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't good enough for our people no more. The words ain't good enough no right. more. You know what I'm saying? Right. It needs something tangible. Yep. You know what I'm saying, bro? When the Lord is out here making moves, man. 
right. Straight up, man. We're living proof yeah. to the Lord making moves. It says, and look, 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 and the man that get of understanding. And the man that get of understanding. Because it tells you in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, yep. wisdom is the principal thing. And with all thy getting, get the understanding yep. behind it, man. Therefore, get wisdom. With all thy getting, get understanding. That's right. That's just like I, 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 I We're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be truly thankful that yep. the Lord has, look, look, we, look, this is, this is the Lord mm -hmm. showing us grace right about now, bro. You still holding in the phone chimed in. That's right. Look, man, you can't make it up, bro. Oh, that wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, bro, you still holding yeah, down I there? I got it. Kind. If I make a quick yeah, bro. statement, and that's why, yeah. you know, when the whole, um, what's his name, um, polite thing came out, yeah. you know, that, that he got what he deserved. Yeah, the Lord said, I'm going to avenge, avenge mine elect. That's but right. Make, look, all you scoffers and you mockers, I'm going to let you finish what yep, you're saying, yep, bro. Yep. All you mockers and you scoffers. I'm saying, look, man, you better be on the lookout, man. That's it. You better watch, you know what I'm saying? You better watch your back, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord got them angels, man, created that's for right. vengeance, man. That's right. Straight up, man, you read what you sow. The same, see, that's one thing about it. The same energy that you put out yep. there, it returns back to you, man. Yeah. You, you producing negative energy. When you say that, you think going to come back to you positive energy? Right. No, <laughs> negative energy is going to come back, man. And that's perfect balance right there, man. That's right. Negative plus negative equal positive. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know? Positive plus positive equals positive. You reap what you sow, man. Yes, All right? If you go and um, take a seed, you know what I'm saying? You plant some apples. What's going to grow? An apple tree, man. Oranges, oranges, you see? Oranges, oranges. oranges. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? An apple tree, man. Apple All tree, right? That's right. You, you, you sowing wickedness upon the face of the earth. What you think is going to grow, man? That's you right. see? You reap what you sow, man. And we rejoicing right about now. The Lord, you know what I'm saying, is starting to um, avenge his men now. That's right. Look, look, bro, because they, they, um, they mocked us, they scoffed. And what do we do, bro? We just took it. We just kept teaching. We That's just kept teaching. teaching. Every day, lessons. Every yeah. weekend, streets. Every day, lesson. Every weekend, streets. Just look, so forth, so forth. For years, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They, they say that nonsense about us, you know what I'm saying? Like eight years ago, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look, look, we're going we're gonna to get the blues and the reds, yep, you know what I'm saying, yep, come out yep, there, so yep. forth and so forth. That was years ago. What did the men of the Lord do? We didn't retaliate. Hell firm. Hell firm. You know what I'm saying? Because right. yep, we knew Yahweh Bashim Yahushua was going to justify us. Because it says, by thy words, thou shalt be justified. And by, by thy, thy words, thou, thou shalt be condemned, man. man. That's right, man. And it's going back, laying back over you when you're saying, and, and, you know, when that happened to him, it's made, it made me even more fearful right, yeah. and thankful for this Hell story. yeah, bro, yeah. Happy yep. is the man. Right. Because that could have been any one of us. That's right, bro. But see, see, we walking circumspectly, though. Not as fools, Ooh, though. We're not walking right. around living a careless life. That's Hell, right. only thing we're pretty much doing is going to work, going to the grocery store, doing these lessons, hitting the highways and byways, getting up with brothers, and the, and the brother got a woman or whatever, he did with his lady, you know what I'm saying, according to, to wisdom, to what have you. That's you know right. what I'm saying? But, but other than that, we ain't doing nothing. These guys doing the most, bro. Doing we ain't most. doing nothing, right? We're living a simple life, man. Keep it simple, brothers. Keep it simple, man. Yo, yo, look, don't um complicate things. You know what I'm saying? Look, we're in Babylon. The land of confusion. You can complicate your life just like that, man. Yeah. So going right back, you want to make a statement or something? No. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 14. Huh. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And isn't that something that a lot of people uh, try to obtain? Mm -hmm. The elites did. Right. All the silver and gold. Right, bro, right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? That's what makes them happy, right? That's what makes them happy. Because cause you're going to find something upon the earth that's going to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's going to make you smile. Guess what? We found it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It was given to us, bro. And look, and the thing about it, the best things in life are free, yo. Right. Freely give, freely receive, man. That's right. So, so we give it, man. That's right. It's a beautiful thing. The Lord didn't charge us nothing, man. Only thing the Lord is charging uh, us, he just want our time. He's charging us with our time, man. That's right. You see? And look, yeah, that's a that's a one, uh, that's a, what is a um, win win deal? Win -win. That's a win win right win -win there, man. Situation. Yeah. That's right. It says, um, for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, mm -hmm. the, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Woo! Than fine gold, man. Gold, I, I probably never even touched my whole right. life. Right. Yeah, um, the gold of Ofer. Ofer, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't think I've ever touched that type of right. gold before, bro. The only thing I touched, I touched some real gold was fucking like this, you know what I'm saying? With a little old piece. You know how you buy some silver and some gold? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. A brother, you know, somebody said, but that's yeah. tainted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's tainted, you know what I'm saying? Tainted. But as far as that pure yeah. gold, you know what I'm saying? It's been refined, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Seven times, you know what I'm saying? Through the furnace. Yeah. We really ain't touched yeah, that, man. Yeah, we haven't touched it. Them gold bars, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. old boy was sitting on, you know what I'm saying? That big building, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, it, the gold bars was so high, you know what I'm saying? He was like, he was like down here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sitting on the gold, and the gold bars like behind him, yeah. like that. And that's just one room. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We ain't seen nothing like this, but guess what? They desire to have that, and that's what makes them happy. Mm -hmm. We desire to have this, and this is what makes us happy, that's bro. That's right. 
we, we, right. We're truly thankful right about now. We can't thank the Lord enough, man. Straight up, man. The Lord allowed me and his brother to get up today, you know what I'm saying, to do this lesson right here, man. You know what I'm right. saying? We thankful, man. It's on no what, man. You see? That's it. His brother, when he leave me, he gonna go back to his hell. When I leave him, I'm gonna go back to my hell. But, but it's all good, though. Cause we about to get out of hell. Soon come, Lord willing, the hell is a condition played out on earth, man. That's you know what I'm right. saying? Going through these fiery trials. And, and we're here to comfort each other, man. That's why we call each other. That's why we get up with each other, you know what I'm saying, as much as possible, much man. As possible, Cause yeah. we know we catching hell, man. Every brother's catching hell, man. It ain't no brother in this truth not catching hell. Everybody catching hell. And if you're not catching hell, something going on. Yeah. Something going on. More than others, of course. Yeah. It says, she is more precious than rubies. Mm -hmm. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. And I love that part. I love that part. I love the whole verse. Right. Whole, you know, all the scriptures. Yep. That verse, it really hits home, man. Right. It speaks volumes, don't it? It speaks volumes, man. It's letting you know that anything that you can think in your little feeble brain. Right. Cannot compare to having to, to, to these scriptures, man. Right. The wisdom. The position that we in right about now, bro, is right. priceless. It's priceless, man. Don't compare us being in this truth to nothing in the world, man. It's priceless, man. Right. All right? No, no, look, whether you're a brother holding a camera, whether you're a brother holding a sign, mm -hmm. whether you're a reader, whether you're a speaker, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're standing on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Getting fed, you know what I'm saying? Getting ready to come on that other side or getting ready to go out and teach. Nothing can compare to this position, you know what I'm saying? The lot that we in right about now. No, don't, don't forsake. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at it as a light thing. You know what I'm saying? Look at it as the greatest honor on the face of the earth, man. This is a great honor, man. Because it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Is. The Lord, you know what I'm saying, chose us to get this word, man. Nothing gets better than that, man. Look, look, look. These people are lost in the sauce, man. Gone. Through. Done. T H R R R R R R R U U U U U. Done. Bonito. Fire. Burnt. Crispy. You know what I'm saying? All that, bro. <laughs> what, what else you got, bro? Con, this is, and this is wisdom of Solomon. We're gonna bring out a couple of scriptures on uh, miracles, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Con, uh, you say you want to start at eight? Uh, that's wisdom of Solomon still. Yeah. Let me see. Right here. Um, and they just put the trust. Oh, uh, you can start at nine again. Con, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse nine. Right. It says, "They that put their trust in Him." She'll understand the truth. See, we understand what's going on, man. Uh -huh. We understand what is that. We want. We understand how the world is being ran right about now, bro. Yep. The Lord said, "Look, they that put their trust." See, we trust in the Lord, man. That's why we understand the truth. That's why we're we're not falling for lies. Okay, mm -hmm. we're not falling for sleazy ease lies. Why? Because the Lord said, "They that put their trust in me gonna understand the truth." That's right. That's why going right back to Romans, you know what I'm saying eleven and seven, Israel have not obtained mm -hmm. that which they're seeking for. Why? Because they're not trusting in the Lord, bro. That's right. But they that fear and trust the Lord understand the truth. That's it's plain. that simple. Plain. It's that simple. Look, you trust and you believe in me, you fear me, and you're gonna understand what's, what the hell is going on out here. That's right. How people don't know what the hell is going on out here, man. Just di diving in a damn river full of alligators. You know what I'm saying, bro? Didn't look. You remember that saying in the world, look before you leap? Yep. Why people look, they ain't damn look that look. They just they just um, they just leap, bro. They ain't look. Man. Matter of fact, bro, they ran to the damn cliff like this, yeah. man. <laughs> I even mean, ran to the cliff like this, bro, and jump, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. Yeah. Come, seriously, though, man. It's like, bro, our people bug the hell out, bro. They, they so simple, though, man. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, they so simple, it's scary, though, bro. And, and we laughing and we joking, whatever, but this is a deadly serious man. It's fun right about now. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, you know what I'm saying? Happy is he to get the wisdom. So we're happy, we joyous. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a balance. Y'all laughing at two-thirds being put to flight, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, two-thirds, <laughs> remember, two-thirds are making mockery of us of being on the highways and byways, yep. making our bodies a living sacrifice. They don't want to want something to happen to us. Yep. That's why the Lord said, let not the, um, um, what do you say, um, I'm, I'm going to get it right quick. Come. Yeah, they, they, I want, they, uh, yeah, go ahead and speak. Bro. Yeah, they, they make fools of us. Look what they got on. Right. What? Yeah. You know, the God of the Bible loves everybody, but they right. can't give you a scripture. Right. You know, they, 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 they're, um, Making their fools, they're being fools for this world. Right. For Satan. I just want to hit this one precept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, um, you finished speaking? And we making ourselves fools for your house by That's right. Shot. Yep. And we don't mind. Yeah. What to say? The foolishness of preaching to save, save them, them that, that believe. believe. We, right. we truly believe and we. We pray constantly, we begging Yahweh by Shema Shah to keep his spirit on us to, to believe and endure it to the end, man. That's right. Even if we have to lose our life, man, for the gospel, man. You know what I'm saying? We pray that the Lord keeps his spirit on us, man, to never deny Yahweh by Shemel Shah. We know, man, our, our power truly lives, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up, man. Straight up, man. And we ain't got to see him, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We believe. That's the faith that's what's inside of us. That's right. Um, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 4. Yep. Um, 5. 
Three, Salakia, fear not the imagination against thee. Mm -hmm. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against yeah, thee. Yeah, we don't fear what people think about us, man. Right. They can't lead us down to the road of salvation. Right. We got the road of salvation. They can't save up us, here, man. man. You know? We got the salvation up here, man. Right. We got the wisdom. Right. They're going to come with the, the wisdom of the world. Right. Lord said that was foolishness. First right. is the third chapter. That's right. And That's we, don't, right. we don't care what the incredulity is, the non believers. Right. The Lord, I mean, when you read the scriptures, the Lord's always dealt with a small saint's right. man. It ain't nothing new up under the sun. He right. doing the same thing, bro. The Lord only dealing with a small remnant. That same remnant that he dealt with over 2,000 years ago, they're back. And he's only dealing with them, man. All right? That's why I said, they that trust in me shall know the truth, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And remember, no lies of the truth. What is that, Corinthians? Is that Corinthians? Um, I, have, I have spoken yeah, it to you because you know the truth. Yeah. Ain't that Corinthians, bro? Nah, well, let me look it up make sure. I think it's Corinthians, the fourth chapter, first Corinthians, yeah. the fourth chapter. I might be wrong though. I know it's in Corinthians though. Um, no lies of the truth. You want to type that in? Yeah. No lies of the truth. They mad at us because we don't want to believe in a lie, bro. Yep. Our people actually mad at us because we don't believe in lies. Yep. It's Corinthians. Nah. Romans. First John. First John. Yeah. First John two, right? Yep. yep. Go ahead. It's First John two and twenty one. Right. That's it. I have not written unto you. Because you knew not the truth. Right, look, look. These scriptures weren't written into us because we didn't know the truth. Right. Go ahead. But because ye know it. See, these scriptures are written into us because we know the truth. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Go ahead. And that no lie is of the truth. No lie is of the truth. So why would we believe in lies? Right. Look, look you got guys, I'm saying, they breaking out some scriptures the right way, but then they throw a lie in there, bro. Mm -hmm. You ain't speaking the truth no more. Yeah. I'm not listening to you no That's more. Right. That's plain. You know what I'm saying? You break down John 3, 16 the right way, but then the next thing you know, you break down Revelation 13, um, what is it, um, 13, 16, 17 the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'm not listening to you no more. Mm -hmm. You see, it's, it's that plain, man. That's right. All right? No lie is of the truth. That's it. Well, take it, man. Take it! <laughs> no. I don't care what No. <laughs> no. That's you know what I'm right. saying? I did it. I did it. I'm showing you. It ain't nothing to fear. That's you, man. That's right. That's you. That, that, that's the spirit that we coming in, man. That's, right. that's you, man. That's right. You know, whatever folks your boat, you know what I'm saying? That's right. You know, and then the scripture say, um, that prophet that deceived the people, I'm going to destroy him and I'm going to destroy the people that follow him. That I, that I may put wickedness away from my people, man. Yeah. You see? The deceiver and the deceiver are his. Right. Yep. Uh, that was it on that. That was it on that. Um... You was holding something. You, that wisdom of Solomon still? Yeah. Yeah, that wisdom of Solomon. Go back to that, bro. Yep. Mm. Would you have something? Yeah. Bring um, it out. This is uh, reading on 1 John 2 and 22. Who is a liar but he that denied Yahweh Shad is the anointed. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People, people don't deny the Lord. Remember? You remember? They said we ain't got to um, worship the Lord. Lord mm -hmm. Yahweh Shad. You know what I'm saying he's just a regular man. They, that's you denying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The majority of our people, oh yeah, we don't know his name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This standing third look, we don't know what color he looked like. They deny Lord Yahweh Shai. Yep. Who is he um that is a liar, but he that denieth a Mashiach. Yep. The anointed man, our Lord and Savior, man. Yep. You see? You know more to that? It says he is an antichrist mm -hmm. that denied the Father and the Son. Right, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, they think they can go to the Heavenly Father, bro. Yeah. You can't, you got to go to the son to get to the father. Remember, the Lord yeah. said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh up to the father yeah. but by me. Yeah. These guys, um, uh, we ain't worshiping the Lord Yahweh. We're just going to go to the heavenly father, the most high Yahweh. Yeah. Well, the scriptures say, um, put me right quick. Yeah. Um, what, is, what is that, bro? Um, you got to believe in the son and the father. He that denied the son. Some to the effect. It slips in my mind right about now. And the comment board going so crazy. They probably put it up there, but I ain't gonna be able to see it. See here. He that honoreth not the put it put type in this, bro. He that honoreth. Let's see. You can read that, but then it's another one. Okay. Um He that honoreth not the father, he that honoreth not the son. Yeah, he that honoreth not the son. This is just some of them catch words that you think of. We just want to bring this out right quick. You got our people denying Lord Yahweh Shai. Look, 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 our head. Right. You know what I'm saying, remember the scripture say that the head of every man is, is Lord Yahweh Shai, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and the head of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is um the Heavenly Father. No, it's not. The head of every man is the Lord. The head of every woman is the man. The head of Lord Yahweh Shai is the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh. You got it? This is uh, St. John 5 and 23. Yeah. That all men should honor the Son. That all... What, what did it say before that? 22. Uh, 22. Let's see what 22 says. Uh, let me get it in the chapter. Yeah. Yep. Let's see what 22 says right there. Uh, it's like the, it says, um, for the Father judging the man. But yep, that's it. Yep. It says, um, we're going to start 21. Um, Let's go 22. It's 22, right? Um, not 21. 21? Yep. Okay. Yep. This is uh, St. John 5 and 21. For as the Father rises up the dead right. and quickens them. Where's the, where's the word, you know what I'm saying? The word quickening means to make alive. You yep. know what I'm saying? Look, look, this word made us live. But the Heavenly Father actually quickened his son, made him live again. You yep. know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Even so, the son of the son quickened up whom he will. Right. So now, now the, the only begotten son, Lord Yahweh, has been given power. To quicken, to make alive who he will. That's right. Guys don't fear the Lord. Are you serious? The Lord no saying got the power to kill you and keep you alive, man. Yep. Go ahead. It says verse 22, for the father judgeth no man. Mm -mm. For the father judgeth no man. Hold on. So Only God can judge me. Right. Only God can right. judge me. What right. it say, bro? For the father judgeth no man. Uh oh. But have committed all judgment unto the son. Yeah, look, two thirds of our people, you <laughs> false prophet, y'all through, man. All judgment was committed unto his son, his right. only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai, who you say is just a regular spirit, who you say we don't need to worship, right? right? It's just a spirit we don't need to worship. Him. You guys are through. Go ahead. Yep, verse 23, that all men should honor the son. Some men. That all men. Five men. That all men. A hundred men. That all men. All, all means everybody, all right? All means everybody. Go ahead. Should honor the father, right? Even as they should, even as they honor the father, right? Right, that wrong, right? It's like it. it's Saint John 5 and 23 that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. Uh oh, uh oh, we ain't got to honor the son, though. You know what I'm saying? Go straight to the father. That's what these false prophets said. You mm -mm. know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. That's what these charlatans said, bro. Mm -mm. What to say again? again? Yeah, read, it again. read it again, bro. Yep, Saint John 5 and 23, right? That all men, right, should honor the son. That's right. Even, which I believe even goes into also. Cause, cause look, bro, you got to think now. Who's coming to perform the miracles? Right. Lord Yahweh Shai, right. the Son. That's right. who's coming to perform the miracles, man. Lord Yahweh Shai, the Son. For you deny, man. Go ahead. Yep. It says even as they honor the Father. Right. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father. Right. Which have sent him. Right. If you're not honoring the Son, you most definitely ain't honoring the Heavenly Father, man. All right, and that's plain right there. That's plain upon tables. The Lord said, "Make it plain upon tables." When you when you read these scriptures, break it down to the simplest form, so these people can understand, because they don't know nothing, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was it on that. That was it. Uh, get that wisdom of Solomon, bro. Yep. Then we'll bring out a couple scriptures on miracles, and then we'll wrap it up. Huh. You know, this is wisdom of Solomon three and uh, nine. So yep. they that put their trust. And him shall understand the truth. Right, that's why we understand. We put our trust in the Lord. And then the thing about it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't you no know, free will. The Lord put his spirit on us to even trust in him, man. This is a cold deal right here, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is controlling all aspects of thoughts, sayings, and doings, man. That's right. Everything it was already predestined, man. Go ahead. It reads on. And such be as faithful and love shall abide with him. Right, and so look, they got that word faith again, bro. And as such as be faithful and in love shall abide with him. The Lord, the Lord ain't want no non believers around him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord gonna be, you know what I'm saying, just come and deliver a whole bunch of non-believers. You yeah, no. know what I'm saying, bro? They, look, look, they took Maxine Waters, you know what I'm right. saying? You know what I'm saying? Vanessa Williams, you know what I'm saying? And then you went and hollered at Biz Market. Right. He gonna come and deliver them? He gonna come and deliver them, bro? Hell no. Lord said those that, that, that such as be faithful in love, man. That's right. Go ahead. Yep, it says, for grace and mercy is to the saints. Right. And he have cared for his elect. So grace and mercy is not to everybody. That's right. Grace and mercy is to his saints, and the saints right about now is the, the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, one of them part of that whole for number, man. That's right. And, and look, and so so we're up on the grace, bro. The Lord has given us, you know what I'm saying, all you listeners out there, the Lord has given us enough time to get it together before he bring death and destruction, you know what I'm saying, and make a speedy riddance of this place, man. Now he ain't giving every Israelite grace right about now, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, grace prayer is a time for you to get right. Oh, the, um bill man or whatever you know what i'm saying phone bill light man look look your bill is due today can, can i can i bring it friday 
All right, then we're going to give you a couple more days. That's yep. grace right there, man. All right? Yep. We haven't been given grace to get it together before. But when the Lord come, when he start bringing the hammer really down, look, it's hit. It's, it's a wrap for this place, man. Yeah. So grace and mercy. And the Lord is showing us mercy right about now, bro. We don't even deserve it. Yep. That's the thing about it. We don't even deserve grace. We don't deserve mercy. And that's a humble spirit right there. You got guys out here thinking that they, they deserve grace, bro. Thinking they, they, they deserve salvation and all that. Like they, like they that person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know. No, man. We didn't, we didn't messed up, man. Yeah. All right? We didn't, we didn't messed up. We didn't went up enough times, man. You know what I'm saying? We praying for mercy. The scriptures tell us, he, he punished us less than what our iniquities mm -hmm. deserve, man. And but, but oh yeah, you, look, you got a power to show you mercy. But oh yeah, let me go to the guy that ain't showing nobody no mercy. Let me let me go and believe the guy that ain't never showed nobody no mercy. He, he ain't showed the air no mercy. He ain't show the water no mercy. He ain't show the animals no mercy. He ain't show the trees no mercy. He ain't show nobody no damn mercy. But oh yeah, let's go to him. We ain't gonna go to the power that's showing everybody mercy. You know what I'm saying? It's repenting and turning back. No, we gonna go to the guy, you know what I'm saying? It's known for destroying, killing, pillaging. It ain't showed nobody no mercy. We're gonna go, we're gonna believe in him. You know what I'm saying? Through. Through. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 10. Bro. Right. But but the ungodly shall be punished. Right, but the ungodly shall be punished, man. Go ahead. According to their own imaginations. According to their own imagination. We just read that, right? Yep. Let not the imagination of them trouble thee, right? Yep. They're imagining something to happen to us, bro, because we don't want to get down where they get down, bro. We don't want to follow after the ways of unrighteousness. We don't want to follow after the ways of the wicked, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? So they're imagining something to happen to us now, bro, right? You know what I'm saying? We healthy as hell. Look, look, you causing a problem. Mm -hmm. You healthy as hell. You cause a problems in my life. <laughs> know what I'm saying? What sense of that made? <laughs> We're gonna leave it at that. Know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> right. <laughs> you working out every day. Know what I'm saying? Right. Doing some push-ups, getting yourself nice and healthy and strong. <laughs> ah, you're the problem, though. Right. <laughs> Let that make sense. Yeah. But look, but those that trust in the Lord shall understand the truth, though. Mm -hmm. We understand what's going on. We, we see the whole narrative, yo. Mm -hmm. We see it, man. Clear as day, man. We see right. it coming a mile away. You got it. Yep, it reads on uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 10. It says, which have neglected the righteousness and have forsaken the Lord. Right. The ungodly has. Right. It says, look, look, and have forsaken the righteous, the hopeful elect. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because we represent the righteous on the earth right about now, starting off with the head of apostles. Now we know all our righteousness is as filthy rags, but our righteousness is of Lord Yahweh Shai. The scriptures tell you that, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father sees us through his son's eyes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because the Heavenly Father, he's too pretty to look on um, iniquity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the Heavenly Father, see, but then, then you got guys, some of them going, they ain't, they ain't going through Lord Yahweh, they're going to the Heavenly Father. What? Let that make sense. Right. What? Right. In a day of Ch Chappelle's spirit. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. What? Okay. You got it. What's my psalm 3 and 11? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, that's it on that. All right. um, we're going to bring out some scriptures on um, just miracles, and then we'll wrap it up, bro. Um... The scripture told us, um, you read Revelation 2 and 10, fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. The devil's going to cast some of you into prison. But our people here, the devil's going to cast us into prison, so we're going to be underground. You know what I'm saying? Fire going to be around. It's going to be a dude with a pitchfork laughing his ass right. off. Fire everywhere. No, man. No, the word man. devil means deceiver, man. E, Esau, Edom, a.k.a. concentration camp, man. Right. I told, I told you, bro. The Lord said our people are simple. Yep. I want to get this, though. Did you have one first? Yeah. Bring yours out, bro. St. John 14 and 12, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, mm. and greater works mm. than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. You got it. Yeah, man. And, you know, you, you go into the accounts of what the Lord has done mm. as far as uh, miraculous works, mm. walking on water. All right, turning water into wine, mm -hmm. healing the sick. All right, right, right rising uh, the dead. Mm -hmm. Those are things that, if someone was to do right now, people would be, you know, flocking to them. And all right, and all amazed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you, you got to put in mind what the scripture said: the things that the done, we shall do greater. Right, which is talking referring to the elect. That's right. All right, and like we. Uh, open up with Romans the 15th chapter these things was written for our learning so we we know whatever comes down the pipeline all right whether you know because you're gonna have some jakes that do get sick all right yep. because the Lord healed right okay what did Peter say 
matter of fact, let me try to find that account. Which, which one? When he, when he healed the uh, the lame man. It's in Peter? Yeah, Peter and, um, uh, was it Barnabas? Where they healed, uh, he, he was asking for money. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot this, I forgot that story. Yeah, they, they um, told him to get up and walk. Yeah, they said, uh, money I do not have. Right. But what I do have, I'll give you. Right. All right? And like you said, the guy got up and he walked. You can type in that part, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. description. Money I do not have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That should pop up. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like the brother That's said, man, there's so many miracles that Lord Yahweh Shai did. You, you can't, and I'm holding that. There's so many miracles, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord did. You can't even write them all down. You look, you can take all the books on the face of the earth, bro. You know, there's a lot of books on the face of the earth. We can't even, you can't even put a number on all the books on the face of the earth. Yeah. It's, it says the Lord did so many mir miracles on the face of the earth. You can't even contain them in all the books on the face of the earth. You found it? Yeah. Yeah, them little keywords, you know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, I type yep. them in, they usually just pop up. Yep. Through the spirit of your eye, by Shemel Shah, you know? Uh, you ready? Yep. Uh, this is Acts chapter 3, and I started, um... Uh... You want me to get it for you? It's in Acts 3. Yeah, three and six. Three and six, I got it for you. Yeah. Acts chapter three, verse six. Yep. Then Peter says, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Silver and, and gold, Peter didn't have, but what he had was what? Spiritual power. Right. All right, and, and in these days to come, silver and gold is gonna be meaningless. Right. All right. Yeah, rich is proper not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. So our people gonna be wanting the, the, uh, the uh, like you said, um, the the best things in life are free. Right. Our people gonna be wanting their health. Yeah. They're gonna want a meal. Mm-hmm. All right. They're gonna want protection. That's right. The things that that, that 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 should be free in life. All right. The men and Lord gonna have. Right. And they're gonna be provided with that through the Spirit and power you have by Shemuel Shai. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're that's the miracles we're waiting on. That's right. We're not waiting on the miracles of, you know. A, a chip being put inside you, so it can. Well, hey, um, C H I P. C H I P. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, it. spell it out. You know, you know how you do. Yeah. Yeah. A C H I P putting put inside of you. Right. All right, so that you can uh, detect when you're about to get sick. Right. Or you can get up and walk. So your body lets you know that any damn way. You know what I'm saying? Your body. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, man. Those that trust in the Lord shall understand the truth, man. Yeah, shit. I know my damn body ain't feeling right. That's spirit. You know said what I'm saying? That, man. Because early, like early in the week, right. I was feeling something in my throat. I said, oh, nah, 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 not now. Right. So I started taking natural herbs, you know, getting my honey. Well, you can't even say that on things. I know. You know what I'm saying? Just can't say nothing. Started taking, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. we got to get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> you can't speak no truth. We're living in a society where you cannot yeah. speak truth, man. Yeah. It's a crime to speak the truth. That's right. I named a video like that a couple of years back. It's a crime. I got I to gotta do another one, bro. Yeah. It's a crime to speak the truth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get jail time for speaking the truth, bro. Yeah. You get your channel taken down for speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just true. It's just facts. Yep. But what you, what you saying though, bro? Like keyword, code words, or whatever? No, I, I just knew I, my, my body was telling me something. Right. So I, I, I we ain't need something it. inside of us. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I it's already in some, it. it's already something inside of us that lets us know yep. that. You yep. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even that's, when your, not, that's your insides. No, I'm just gonna say yeah. that's your insides. Yeah. You know. Even when you're not drinking enough water. The spirit of discernment lets us know exactly. something right. Exactly. Damn. Yep. Why can't we look? Why can't we use our five senses? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this devil, hey, no. Right. I tell you, you know right, what I'm saying, right. bro. <laughs> <laughs> look, bro. Look, I'm gonna tell you when you catch the fruit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, right. bro. I'm gonna tell you right. when you can catch new morning. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro. Right. You know, like when the winter starts coming, so it's new morning season. Yeah. According yeah. to who? Yeah. yeah. Stop. <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying, right. bro. Go get your juice. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> No, 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 bro. Go get Maxine Waters. Go get you know what I'm saying? Waters. We're, we're approaching that, that season. Yep. Shut up. <laughs> we ain't got to worry about that soon. Come, though, man. That's right. It says, um, but such as have I given mm -hmm. in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach of Nazareth. Look, look, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's right, brother. That's what's going to, that's what's going to, yep. uh, 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 be the miracle starter. That's right. It start with the names. That's yeah. where the power lies. Yep. 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right. You can just look, you can make, look you know upon the person. Yeah. And boom. And we know them healing prayers. We know the blessing prayers. Mm -hmm. Brothers rehearse those all the time, you know what I'm saying? So they're pretty much embedded, just like the Lord's Prayer. That's the first prayer, you know what I'm saying, that you want to learn. I mean, you know our brother be putting prayers together, and that's yeah. fine and dandy. But the main prayer, you know what I'm saying, that you want to remember is the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. And all those other prayers, you know what I'm saying, if the Lord's will, you know what I'm yeah. saying, remember those too, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The Lord told us that, and that was in Matthew the sixth chapter. Look at the end, you know what I'm saying? He want, he want to get the truth. Right, right. The, the Lord told us that in Matthew the sixth chapter. Yeah, the dog, you know what I'm saying, right here, you right. know what I'm saying? If you don't have anything to say, right. <laughs> you too. You too. Hey, man, it's all spiritual, man. Yep. But, you know, say this, and it goes into the Lord's Prayer. If you don't yep. have anything to say, say that. Yep. Oh, yeah, look, bro, you know what I'm saying? That's the Spirit. The Lord said, um, since we put our faith and our trust in Yahweh, Ba Shemel Shai, the beast of the field shall be at league with us, man. Yep. So no matter where brother's at, man, just keep trusting in the Lord. You might be in the damn, um, what is that, the mountains? The damn mountains? What is that mountain that we was thinking about going to? Something mountains, that place on um, the mountains. Smoky Mountains. Yeah, you go, you end up in Smoky Mountains somewhere, you're on a mm -hmm. run or whatever, you end up in Smoky Mountains. You might be surrounded by grizzly bears. Oh, you will you know be. I'm saying? Hey, you they will be. There ain't no might in it. You, yeah, you're going to yeah. be surrounded <laughs> around um, uh, the bobcats and yep. all that. But then the yep. Lord said, Look, you had faith in me before this even popped off. Right. Do, you, do you not know the Lord controls the animals? The what? Right. Right. Do you not know ravens brung the men of the right. Lord food? Are you serious? We read the account. Those are miracles right there, man. Where you think they got Dr. Doolittle from? Right, yeah. Speaking to the animal. Right, no. And had a Jake do yeah, exactly. Right. So it's going right. to go down, man. The animal, man, as soon as that dog seen him, he started getting heavy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Had a stick in his mouth and everything. He, 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 couldn't, yeah. he couldn't keep his eyes off us, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The scripture say, look, the animals are going to be, uh, the beasts of the fish are being in league with these, meaning they're going to be on your side, you right. know what I'm saying? They're going right. to be hiding and protecting you, man. Hell, a big ass bird might just come, you know what I'm saying, and grab you by your shirt, you know what I'm saying, and take yep. you to the top yep. of the damn tree, you know what I'm saying? Yep. That's how you know, you look down, you wonder why the bird taking you up to, up so high. That's how you know, you look down, damn troops, you know what I'm saying, yep. fucking on your path, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Coming through flying, you like, Lord, thank yep. you, Lord. Look, we're getting ready to show enough, see some miracle. We're going to shed some tears, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna show them, make us cry, man. Enjoy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We'll be thankful, man. Have a, we'll Go ahead, bro. Maybe sleep. A wolf may come and lick your face. Right. Like, yeah. Yep. And he's like, yeah. Up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, or he might even start speaking. Remember, the Lord made a donkey speak. He might even start speaking, man. Don't be surprised, man. Miracles. Lord gonna show off this time too, man. That's right. The Lord gonna show off this time, man. <laughs> you know? In the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach of Nazareth. Raise up and walk. Raise up and walk, man. I mean, I mean, think about that, man. Kwam Yasha'al. Kwam Yasha'al. Rise, Israel. That's right. In the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Bashim Rakak with Dash man. It says, um, you want to say something, bro? I'm, I'm just visualizing. Right, 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 right. right. We seeing it, man. Yeah. We seeing it, man. Yeah. All right? We see it through these words, like the apostle, um, apostles always going to, you know what I'm saying? We, we got to be visionaries. You got to actually put yourself in this scripture right here, man. Yep. You gotta, you gotta actually put yourself in the scripture and see exactly what's going on, and that's what we do, man. We see exactly what's going on. We put ourselves in that time frame, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It says, um, and he took him by the right hand, the right hand, all right, bro. Right, look, you know what I'm saying? Left, right, the right, right, and lifted him up. Mm. And look, bro, and immediately, 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 his feet and his ankles, his ankle bones received strength. That's that. Hey, look, man. And that's gonna shed a lot of tears, man. Right, yeah, bro, yeah. You know? The Lord performing miracles through his, through his service yeah. to men, yo. That's gonna bring tears to our eyes, and we ain't gonna know how to act, man. If we of that number, brothers yeah. heal us, or we get the spiritual powers, you know what I'm saying, to heal somebody, man. Yeah. All praises, all glory, all honor. Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy, Kahalai, I'm alive. Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy, man. But look, look, that's what the apostle's saying. Right. We did nothing, we didn't do nothing in our own name, man. That's right. Uh, all things yeah. came through the name of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. That's right. It says, um, and he leaping, <coughs> uh, and he leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising the Most High. Now, can you, you got to put that in perspective. This man has never walked his, his entire life. Right. Probably born that way. Yeah, he was. You know? And then here it is, people that know this man. Right. Since he was, you know, a, a, a young child. Yeah. What the hell happened? Seen him just um, crawling around and all that. People had to lift him up, lift take him to certain places yeah. and all that. Yeah. You know, and that's that's when the believers will come in, in in this last hour, man. Yeah, it says um, certain miracles that was performed. I get thousands of people believing in that instant, in that day. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
The Lord gave, look, the Israel, the, the elect getting to wake up, man. Straight up. That's right. It says, um, and look, and all the people saw him walking and praising the most high Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful of the temple. Mm -hmm. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was healed, which was healed, we're living in a time of healing, man. It says, um, and and as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Sol Solomon's um, grocery. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? And, and, and we some of those men, that's the same spirit we're going to be coming in. We told y'all this right. was coming, man. And look, don't marvel because we did it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all marveling. Y'all looking at us like, damn. Y'all did it, yo. No, nah, we, don't marvel nah. that what, what just happened. You know what I'm saying? Or, or who it came from. Right. It says, um, and when Peter saw it, he answered it unto the people, ye men of Israel, because people seen the miracles, right? Yep. Why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? Yep. As though by our own power or holiness, we have made this man to walk. Yeah, like we did this one. This, this one uh, 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 of something that we, right. you know what I'm saying? This one of man. Yeah, this one of man. Right. This is the God of Abraham, the power of Abraham, mm -hmm. and of Isaac, and of Jacob. Right. The God of our fathers have have glorified his son, Yahweh Shai, right. whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate uh -huh. when he was determined to let him go, man. That's right. So the the, 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 the God that did this is the same one that y'all uh, are crucified. Right, denied, yeah. The same one y'all gave up to the Romans. Right. Right. So, and, and, and that's the same spirit we're going to look, man. This came from your high Shem Yahweh Shai, the right. one that y'all denied. That's right. We ain't denying, we ain't, you denied him when you denied, look, when you came up against his men. Right. And yep. best believe you're going to have Marcus and Scarfer that need healing. They're going to be the main ones. You know, they're, they're going to be my, cutting my, that my, day. My, my, my daughter just died. Yep. She took she took Maxine Waters and Vanessa yep. Williams. She just died. Mm -hmm. Look, man, the Lord going to be cold, y'all. The Lord say, look, 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 you rejecting me, I'm going to reject you. Yep. So you, you shall be no priest to me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Seeing that I have forgotten the law of thy power, look, I will also reject your children. That's what the Lord say. The Lord say he's going to reject their children, bro. That's right. You see? I got a quick one. Yep. Psalms 110 and 3. It says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. You got it. And the beauties of his holiness from the womb of the morning, thou thou hast the dew of thy youth. So the Lord says that the, thy people shall be willing. Mm. Willing what? Oh, now they want to get this yeah. word. Now, now they, they want to listen. Yeah. Now they want to follow. Whether it's uh, 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 family members, right. loved ones, right. all right? People you just may know. Right, because the dudes, you know what I'm saying, this, um, got these big platforms. Yep. They speaking a lot of nonsense and the women that follow them, bro. Yep. So it ain't just men scoffing and mocking. It's women. It's a whole lot more whole women lot out there scoffing them, yeah. and mocking. But let the men of the Lord get some power, yep. get some fame. When the Lord said that too, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you praise and fame mm -hmm. in a land that you was put to shame. shame. That, all that was written for All that is coming, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But right about then, you know what I'm saying? It says um, humility comes before honor. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be humiliated first. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and we got to just bear it. You know what I'm saying? Cause look, shit, remember fucking seven, eight years ago they tried to humiliate us, you know what I'm saying? Well they yeah. did humiliate us. Some yeah. of some you did this, that, and the third. Yeah. No, ain't none of us never did that nonsense. We yeah. had to just take it, right? Yeah. Cause humility comes before honor, man. Yeah. You see? I had someone come up to me and say, oh, 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 uh, it was a family member too. Right. I heard about this and that. Right. You know, I'm like, see what I'm saying? If that happened, let's think they'd be locked up. Right. Uh uh. See what I'm saying, bro? And then, you know, they See, walk on but um, fucking um, Nance, right? Yeah. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Every idle word, man, that men should speak. Only thing we're doing is preaching the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. Fearing Yahweh by Shimei Shai, bringing you the good news. And only thing people got to do, only thing people coming with is slander, bro. Yep. Know what I'm saying? Ridicules, mocking, scoffing. But you got to answer for that soon, come, That's bro. Right. Repent now. That's right. That was the end of that. That was it. I got some Matthew, come. Saint Matthew chapter four, verse um. Let's see. 23. And Yahweh went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel. Yep. 
of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease and all manner of oh, disease. Man of uh oh, disease. I, 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 I might not need to say it. Preach about the Lord know, healing right? people. I you know, can't right? preach about the Lord healing people, right? That's no, right. the Lord don't exist, right? Put the Bible down, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's what they say, right? They say. All man of sickness and all man of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases That's right. and torments and those which were possessed with devils, demons, and those yep. which were lunatic, crazy, and those that had the palsy, couldn't walk, yep. and, and he healed them. And the Lord healed them man because you got to remember it's a miracle ain't it that, look you, yes right you got you got to remember the lord is the one that does the healing right the lord is the one that does it it, it, ain't, it ain't about uh you know this man's uh witchcraft right you know you can't even say the s word no more really either right i got a um uh a quick one Oh yeah, then then you know the scripture say uh, the enemy's gonna come in like a flood, like a flood. and the Lord's gonna lift up that standard meaning that spiritual power. It's gonna be a whole lot of people trying to get down in that day. Yep. Cause the man of the Lord gonna show no shine, man. They're gonna glow, man. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna glow, bro. You That's right. This is this backing you up right here. This is Psalms 103 and 3. Uh, sorry, 2. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgive all thy iniquities, who heal of all thy diseases. Mm. Now the Lord is not gonna come down off his throne and start, you know, just <laughs> He's going to reveal the spirit and the spiritual power towards men. Right. Okay? Yep. We just read in St. John, the 14th chapter, that what the things that the Lord did, we're going to do greater. Right. So you can imagine just looking upon a person and healing them, man. I know, right, bro? In the name of Yahweh, by Shem, I was shot. That's going to be so powerful and beautiful, man. I mean, like we said earlier, tears are going to flow, man. <laughs> Tears are going to show enough flow. When the Lord get us out of predicaments, you know what I'm saying, that we know we can't get out of that, that darkest hour, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, you ain't going to be able to do nothing but shed tears, man. Mm -hmm. You see? That you was even kind of worthy to be saved and delivered, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know, man. That's right. That's why the scripture says, make your calling and election sure. Yeah. For if you do these things, you should never fall. Yeah. That's why we're being diligent. Right. What you got, bro? Um, let me see here. St. John chapter 6. Uh, let me see, let me start here. I'm gonna start it on. Oh yeah, let me before you even get that, bro. Let me get this right quick, Bubba Yeah. This is Saint John. Yeah, I got Saint some. John chapter twenty. It's a lock in. And okay. no, no, say something right there, bro. Yeah, because you know, you gotta also understand that. The scriptures talk about a famine. You may have food stored up and things of that nature and waters, but you may not be able to get to it. You may not be able to stick around to it and even enjoy it, man. Right? You don't get down with this man's uh, 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 system, or you're going to be outcasted, man. You're not going to be able to participate in this man's society, so how are you going to buy, sell, do things of that nature? All right? Isaiah 65 said that what? His servants shall eat and drink. All right? And that's going to come through by the way of miracles. Right. I got it. Okay. This is uh, St. John chapter 21. And um, I'm just going straight to the point 24. Mm -hmm. This is the disciple which testify of these things. So it was a witness. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's seen these things. And look, look, and wrote things. Look, look, and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. Yep. I mean, this, this was a man of honor. Yep. This was a man that everybody respected. This was a man of the Lord that everybody knew you know, he don't lie. Right. You know what I'm saying? He ain't lying, right? That's right. He says, um, look, look, this prophesying. You know what I'm saying? It says, and there are also many other things which Yahweh Shai did, mm -hmm. the which, if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Our mind. Our mind. That's so let it be true. All right? Then you know right there. Look, man. Easy E, easy e is through. Man. Right. Ain't going to be nothing he can do to the elect, man. Right. All right? The Lord's going to lift up that standard, man. And look, and, and the Lord ain't going to play around. That's right. I know, right, bro? Look, he said, he's going to be, it's, this is the end all, be all. Yep. So, you know, 
Yeah. Yeah. The most high, he's going to be God. And son, they're like the ultimate jakes. That's right. So they're going to get down and, 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 and show out. The Lord going to come and stunt, man. Exactly. The Lord going to come and show no stunt, man. They look, they're going to he's going to come and show everybody why he's the king of kings, and why he's the lord of lords. um the lord of lords and why he's the savior. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come and show us why his name is Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers, man. And look, it says the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Yep. That's why it's going to be so beautiful and epic. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. And, and the Lord gonna put more fear in us, man. Lord willing, we have that number to get saved and delivered by the hands of the a chin chin chin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it reminds me of a vision I had. Um, and you know, dreams are dreams. You know, you don't get too much caught up into it. But um, this one, um, it's like I, I was, I was, I was being thrown from something. Right. And um, and I, I was over some water. And um, it's, I, I, I said the Lord's name. I was like, Yeah, how about some y'all shot? Yeah, how about some y'all shot? Yeah, how about you? I shot a third time, and right before I hit the water, I just took off. See what I'm saying, bro? See? You know what I'm saying? Damn. And, 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 and that's the type of miracles that, you know, is going to happen these last days, mm -hmm. man. You got you got to understand, the Lord's going to have to put you in certain, you got to understand. Yeah. The Lord's going to put you in certain positions. Yeah. To magnify his power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got to be put in a predicament for a miracle to be performed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no miracle. Ain't, ain't nothing happening. You know what I'm saying? Everything calm, cool, collected. Ain't no need of a miracle. Right. When you're in dire straits, you know what I'm saying? You know, a guillotine coming down your neck. You know what I'm saying? Somebody about to throw you in a fiery furnace mm -hmm. or somebody throw you in a lion's den. Na door. Look, <laughs> now it's time. Somebody kick down your door. Look, now it's time for a miracle now. Right. He believed in me. You know what I'm saying? Look, he had faith in me. Now, now it's time to perform a miracle now. The, look, the enemy is here. Now it's time to perform a miracle now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time for me to enhance his faith even more. Well, the Lord, we read it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord ain't ever forsook no one to call upon him. That's right. Did we ever read that? That's around 2 and 10? Yeah. I don't think we went all the way down, though. Yeah, you good, though. Go ahead. I got something, too. Come on, this is uh, St. John chapter 6. And I'll, uh, I'll start at 5. It says, When Yahweh Shah lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said to Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? Right. And he said, and this he said, I'm gonna get that one too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all God. good. Go ahead. To prove him for what himself knew what he would do. Philip answered and said, 200 penny. Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every man, that every one of them may take a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which have five loaves, five barley loaves, and two small fishes, but what are they among so many? Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shah said, make the men sit down. Because it was thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, man. You know what I'm saying? About five? It was, was 5,000 men yeah. in general, you know what I'm saying? Not including the, uh, the women and the children. children yep. It was 5,000 men, and they ain't even including the women and children. So I ain't no telling how many thousands of people was there, man. It was thousands upon thousands of people there, though, man. Because he ain't even included women and children, but you know families came. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They don't tell them how many uh, children those different families had, but we know it was at least 5,000 men. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's heavy, right? Yep. Go ahead. It reads on. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. See? Yep. It says that Yahweh shot to the loaves, and when he had given thanks, you know, to you who? To the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? It says and the disciples, uh, Slacky, I missed part. It says, and giving thanks, he distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as many as they would. When they were filled, he said unto the disciples, Gather up the fragments of the remain that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments <laughs> and the five barley loaves which remain over oh, and, uh, and above unto them that had eaten. Mm. Then those men which they had seen, the miracle that Yahweh Shah did. Remember, no I'm saying? You had uh, one body and Satan Yahweh, said, yep. said, Lord, Yahweh Shah didn't perform miracles. You yep. yep. know what I'm saying? Them guys threw one body and Satan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You got God, you got brothers actually writing down the accounts. Right. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no parable. This is plain, man. Right. They don't know the difference between a parable, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and just and being what the scripture is saying. Right. Right. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries right. of the kingdom of heaven. To them, it is not given, man. That's right. Read on. Yep. <clears throat> and it's and I'll bring out one more. We'll wrap it up. Con. It says, um, verse 14, St. John 6 and 14. Then those men which had which they which they had seen the miracle 
that Yahweh Shah did and said, this is a truth that the prophet that should come into the world. Right, this is him. This is him. This, this, this is who the book was written about right here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's him. That's you know what him. I'm saying? That's our Lord and Savior. The book said he was going to be doing this then the third. No other man had did it before him, man. That's right. All right? Nobody hadn't raised nobody from the dead before Lord Yahweh came on the scene. Right. Go ahead. It says, verse 15, when Yahweh shall therefore perceive that they will come and take him by force to make him yeah. a king. Yeah. He departed again to the mountain himself alone. The one is time. Long time. The one is time. Long time. But man. the point being in that scripture, the miracles that got performed. Mm -hmm. And look, and thy people shall be willing that they have thy power. That's right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna want to put you on a plateau, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, they want to um hold your name up as honorable mm -hmm. in that day. So, so, it, so it took this. So, so it took this right yeah. here, you know what I'm saying? It took for me to perform miracles, for you to, you know what I'm saying, have some kind of, you know what I'm saying, belief in me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, for you to honor me. Now we honor the Lord, you know what I'm saying, way right. before that, man. That's you know? right, I'm honor me. And I got one more, unless you got something. That was, that's all this right. Acts chapter 2, verse, um, I saw the 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. That's right, if I may say, yeah. going back to Romans the 15 up with man the things are written for times written for our, our learning right the men of israel because the words truly for the israelite man that's right on his side right you know the woman is of the world now you got some women are believers but they're believers to a certain extent right all right right that's right ye men of israel hear these words mm -hmm. yahweh shai of nazareth a man approved of the most high among you by miracles and wonders and wonder because these miracles are wonders right man. Who right now is going around, you know, taking two fishes and five barley loaves and right. feeding over uh, just 5,000 men alone? Like right. you said, not including, you know, women, women and children, children yeah. that was there. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, when they was finished, they still had stuff left over. You know what I'm saying? This is, a, this is our Lord and Savior, man. You know what I'm saying? Two fishes and five loaves of bread. They felt the multitude of people, man. Who on earth is doing that? Nobody, yo. Look, look, and real bread. Mm -hmm. Real fish, you know what I'm saying? Not no GMOs no, GM, either, yo. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Um, what, what's the word we always use? Um, alkaline. Alkaline. Know what I'm yep. saying? The real stuff. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? You know they had water. Know what I'm saying, bro? Real down, water. Man. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Or some wine. Probably yeah. getting water and wine. You know, gotta extrapolate. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put everything in there. Right. Go ahead, gotta put everything in know there. Know what I'm saying? Extrapolate. Yeah. It says, um. By miracles and wonders and signs, which the Most High did by him in the midst of whoa, you. Whoa, which the Most High did. Right. Through Yahweh That's Shai. right. And that same power is going to be manifested to the men of the Lord, yeah. man. Yeah, because everything goes back to the Heavenly Father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything goes back to the Heavenly Father, man. But it goes back to the Father through the Son, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Through the Son. Because we can't praise the Heavenly Father without praising His Son first. Of all. That's how you praise the Heavenly yep. Father. In the name of His Son. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, you know? That's right. It says, um, which the Most High did by Him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So people mm -hmm. actually seen the miracles being performed by our Lord and Savior, man. That's right. So we just want to do a lesson, you know what I'm saying? It went pretty long, but it's all through the Spirit. It's a beautiful right, exactly. lesson. Through the Spirit, man. I got charged up off this, man. I know, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> miracles are coming. We're living in a time of miracles, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't no need to lose no hope now. We're at the end now. Ain't no losing faith now. Ain't no nah. need to draw them back now. The nah. Spirit said we're not of those that draw back, back, man. But we are of those that believe into the end, to the saving of souls, man. That's just probably right. really paraphrasing. Ain't no need to turn it back now. Might as well keep pushing. When it came this far, bro, might as well see it to the end, Lord's will. Yep. You know? The Lord didn't bring us this far, man. Miracles are going to be uh, performed on the face of the earth, man. We, we, like we always say, the Lord always had me say through the Spirit, we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. Just keep faith in the Lord, man. You got anything you want to say, bro? That's what I'm saying. Yo, man, Lord one of the elect was edified. I know we was, you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh -huh. look, man, we're, we're thankful, we're happy. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, this was a faith booster yep. to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. You know, we're saying that we ain't going to be the dead horse. We want to first and foremost, once again, give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Next, most definitely, double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the elder bishops of Great Millstone, and the men on down, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bit, man. We believe in miracles. That's right. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, yeah. 
DTA, a bob, a ball. Soon and very soon. Very soon. Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashallah. The thing got up to almost 100 people watching at one time.